This build is 90 by 90 by 57. And here are all of the very many blocks you are going to need. Okay, so the most important thing, so we're all on the same page when you start off this build, is we're going to need to construct this. This is a guide for the very bottom most layer from which we will be building the ship layer by layer upwards. So this entire box is 90 blocks long, which is the entire length of the ship. So if you just center yourself on that, you want to make sure that starting from the back left, this is five blocks long, and this is the bottom left rudder. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, away from this set of five, which is centered here, which will be the back right rudder. And this is going from the right rudder one, two, three, four, five, six blocks to find the middle. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then this is four blocks long. So the front fin on the bottom of the ship will start just above this, and the back rudder fins will be back there. And starting from the bottom most layer, once you place these sections down this and on the next one then you can remove the guide in the middle so it's going to be fence across the bottom and then throwing on some dark oak planks um, this build I have no idea how long it's going to take probably a couple hours so if you have it in you I mean power to you. Uh, if you don't, you could always paste it in with a lightmatic, but if you are in bedrock, then that will not be an option and you'll have to follow this tutorial. So hopefully it's good enough. If there are any places in which I have made something unclear, just let me know in either the comment section or Join my Discord and let me know there. I answer faster in Discord, but I still try to respond to everything on YouTube anyways. Why am I not making a region selection? Position two. Let's try this again. Oh, okay. So we have the bases for all of the three fins, and we will just continue up until we get to the hull of the ship. So we're going for these kind of thick cross shapes going up at an angle. 
with dark oak fence coming off the ends for a little more detail. If you're fine with it looking a little more blocky, you can just skip the dark oak fence. The dark oak planks are the structure of the fins and the fences are an accent. So those bits are optional. The, the fences, not the planks. And I know this is a very strange way to construct something. You could just follow one fin at a time all the way up, but I don't know. This is the easiest way for me to reconstruct something I've previously designed. This is not in any way how someone should go about designing a build. It's, it's a fine way to recreate it, but it's an awful way to try and be creative initially. And these fins, as you can see, are relatively straightforward all the way up. Just a somewhat very repetitive pattern moving upwards with slight changes just to make more of a curve shape to it. Since this build is so large, I understand if there are inner blocks that you want to skip, like these, those would be unnecessary as they'll get covered up at some point later on. So if you are concerned with how many blocks it takes, there are going to be several places in the build in which blocks will be covered up that you are free to skip. This is where the front fin starts curling back into the rest of the boat. This is three on the left, one in the middle, and two on the right. This side, of course, being the front of the ship, that being the back of the ship. In case I did not make that clear earlier. I appear to have missed a fence. We'll get to that in just a moment. So this is where the fins start to connect with the hull of the ship. And once I put all of these down, I will go about constructing the very base of the hull. This being a 2 by 3 rectangle, one coming off the left and one coming off the right with one block angled into the middle. Off the very front of the ship we have another fence up and this plank cross again and then it will start going into the rest of the hull of the ship. So from this cross we're going to start one on the left and then a row of three planks and going to three dark oak stairs. Moving two planks on the outside and we will come back with three planks on that outer rim and three dark oak stairs on the inside curving down into these trap doors which are here just so light passes through the entire ship. There will be trapdoors above these, and in the balloon at the top there will be glass to allow light to come through. So that way the area below the ship isn't fully in darkness and spawning mobs. So three stairs against the back, 
and we have this small bowl shape. And then going towards the back of the boat, we will have one, two, three, four, five dark oak planks, which will make just a square that you can fill in. Coming out at an angle from that, we'll be going back one, two, three. So one on that angle and then two more to make another rectangle. Don't be too distressed if you get the symmetry slightly off. This build is large enough where it should go unnoticed. So coming off of this angle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks, which we will use. I'll start over here so it's more clear to make another rectangle. This time with a design in the center of the flooring. So coming from the center, We'll just move back one. So where this angles out, we'll do a solid line of planks across. And from the outside, we'll go in three on both sides. And then we'll throw in some dark oak stairs to start curving around the whole build. Two planks to fill in this gap, and then one row all the way back. Same on this side, from the left, two planks to fill in, and one row coming all the way back. And we can go back to throwing in these stairs to curve around. When they highlight orange with light Matica, it's just because they're not properly oriented, which means instead of placing it against this block, I should be placing it against that, and this one that way. So it creates the same shape, but the block is technically different. It's not something that's very important. So if you're using Lightmatica or just watching along this tutorial, if anything shows up in orange, at least for the things I construct, it's usually not an important thing to think about. From this back left, we can come in two blocks put in two dark oak planks along the length of the ship, and then one more to complete that L. Same on the right side. So from where this stair starts to curl into the middle. And we will finish our curve of stairs that are just lining the inside of this dip. And then we go one layer of dark oak slabs around before filling the inside with dark oak trapdoors. These will usually show up orange whenever I place them because the orientation of the trapdoor will tell whether or not it's accurate to the lightmatic. So coming off the back of this, or if you want to come off the fin, one air block from this fence and then one block to the right. And we can just take this line all the way across until we get to a similar angled point on this back right fin. Then coming one in from the sides, fill in another line like so, one straight back, this time fully connecting on the right side. And this one will be two blocks from the back left fin and it'll just be a row of three. And now we'll get to this coming straight off the back. So this will actually be one lower, and it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, there we go. So 12 blocks back, and three fence posts. And then we can start with three dark oak planks on top with a slab on the back 
and two fences facing towards the middle. This will all be a lot more convenient when there stop being so many overhangs. So off the back, we are doing a similar construction to those two fins with this kind of thicker plus shape and some fences for an accent. Coming off the back left fin, we'll go up with one fence and then a two by three rectangle of oak planks again. One coming off in line with the ship. And then we'll move to the back right. Dark oak fence and a three by three of dark oak planks. And we'll move on to the front and then we'll get back to the hull and stay on the hull for quite a while. So off this front dark oak fence, we go one plank up, one more fence off the front, and then four back. So this will be a length of five. And then coming two planks back from the front, we'll do three planks on each side, and one over to the left and to the right. Coming off at an angle, we'll have one more. Again on both sides, keeping the symmetry. Coming off at an angle again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on the right side, we'll have nine blocks again. And now we shall angle out, coming back one more, then over to the right. Including this block, we have one, two, three, four, five, more back before we get to another angle. So again, one, two, three, four, five back before we're at another angle. We go back one and over, and including this block, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, and then including that one, all the way up to eleven. Coming straight back. Now we'll go back to the front of the ship. We can throw in this chest in the front. All of these chests and barrels are non-structural. So if you don't like how they look, don't throw them in. They're only for show and they are not necessary at all. You can fill in this area however you want. For me, I wanted it to be a storage area at the bottom of the ship. And that is why it is full of chests and barrels. These stairs make for a nice accent and curve to the inside of the ship, which you don't need if you are fine with it being blockier. On this indent here, what I like to do for small curves is two stairs with a stair in the opposite direction, I guess at an angled direction, just so it gets a little more curve. Here we have a stair, stripped wood, stair, two gaps of air, dark oak stairs, dark oak stairs, stripped wood, and two planks. These iron bars, again, I just like how they look with stacks of barrels, so that can be ignored if you feel differently about it than I do. Two stairs in the middle with a curve on each end, and this will be three from this front corner. Throwing in some more decorations. These stairs, again, as you can see, with throwing these decorations in front, become somewhat worthless. But if you don't want these here, then you'll see the stairs. So from this angle here, we're going two stairs and a curved stair before we start getting to the stairs that go to the upper layers of the ship. So those are upside down stairs, which you could replace with anything or have nothing there at all. We have a curved stair coming off of it. And just some more curved stairs here. 
for the very base because this is a staircase that's going to go up and into the center of the ship. So if we're looking at it from the very back, from this 3x3 three three that we made earlier, we can throw in one dark oak plank, stripped oak log, and two stairs. And coming off the left side in towards the center of the ship, we'll do three more dark oak planks, curved stairs, and a small curve out of planks. Just a little L of three. On the very back, we will have a curve made solely out of stairs. Which, let me just throw the L in off the other one. From this two by three section, it's one up and then to the right and back. I did not curve these properly. And then we have one dark oak trapdoor in the back. From this back fin, we're going to come in off this upper right corner with two more planks and some stairs to add to the curve of the ship. And this is what the base should look like so far. This is where it will start coming together because the back of the hull is around here and we should get to it in a layer or two. So coming off this very back rudder, again with the angles, just taking that same pattern, shifting it up one and sliding it one towards the ship to get a curve. Starting from the back left rudder, we'll go up one fence block in a dark oak plank and then forwards one, two, three, four, five, before moving out at an angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, towards the front of the ship. And we'll go two off towards the middle, three more to the front, at an angle again. This time of length, one, two, three, four, five. Another angle. This time it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go three in from the center here, skipping a block, and three across, plus one for the side. And then we can go one in from the corner fully straight across, two in from the sides, three across, and then one block in the middle, one dark oak fence on top. We'll throw in the dark oak stairs in the front middle, some dark oak stairs for curves on the sides, and then we'll take these dark oak planks all the way back. So including that frontmost one, it's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Take an angle. One, two, three, four, five. Another angle. One, two, three. And then we'll go back two more. So five in total. Coming from here up to one to the right. And we'll go back, including this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Coming from the fence off the rudder, we adding in one, two, three, four, with dark oak stairs and then a curved dark oak stairs. So again, from this point on the back right, we are going to go at an angle, three blocks towards the middle, one block back, one towards the middle, one block back, four more fully across. And since this is five across, we'll put one in the middle. From here on the left rudder, we'll go two in towards the middle, one back, and one in towards the middle. And now we will go add the curved stairs again. Just 
those two there. Strip dark oak. Strip dark oak on top of the previous one. Two stairs. Another dark oak on top. Dark oak on top of the previous one. From the first long drop back from the front of the ship, take an air block and throw in another stripped log. On this side, it will be the same, as you can see. This is a continuation of the staircase from earlier. So we'll stack up another log there. This time we'll be building more stairs going around. Just taking that same pattern and shifting it up one for the most part. This is an upside down stairs, which you could just have as planks. That part doesn't really matter. And there are planks there. And again, we have strip dark oak here. So from this corner, looking at the fence, it's diagonal one, diagonal one more, and we'll put a strip log there. Strip log on top of the previous one. And we will go throw in all of our little design accents. So just a stack of barrels behind the stairs with some iron bars, a lantern, and just a lot more barrels and chests. Not only do I think that the barrels and chests are like a nice looking design for the bottom, it also makes some sense that the bottom of the ship is just storage for everything. And again, you really don't need to copy the stacking of barrels and chests exactly. You can fill them in however you want, as organized or disorganized as you please. Okay, and we'll go up one more layer and start from the back. This time we'll involve a strip dark oak log instead of planks. Completing this little cross shape and having another fence. So starting from our previous layer, we'll go directly on top of this dark oak fence from the back left for this plank. And we will go one to the left. And including this, it will be a line of four towards the front. At an angle, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We'll go in 1, and including that one, it'll be a line of 4. Angle in again after that, and including this block, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Angle in again for three towards the front. Angle in by one. We can leave that block there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven across the front with a trap door there. Dark oak planks on the side and a dark oak plank in the very front of the ship. Coming off this side, we can go one back and leave that plank there with a line of three towards the back, another angle, this time a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another angle, one, two, three, four, across to the right, including that one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Angling in, one, two, three, four, angling in, one, two, this one we can make into a two by two square. So we go two more. Then off that one, back one, one, two, three, four, five, six across the middle. Coming into the center of the back, we have three more. And we are just going to connect this on the back left. Throwing in stairs on this first corner. The second corner gets an angled stair. 
and we can continue to stack up the stripped dark oak wood. This is the back right of the ship, just to stay oriented. And we can move on to the staircase. It's going to be upside down stairs. And these are going to be right side up stairs with an angle. Again, strip dark oak wood on top of itself. From this corner, from the front, the one of length three, you can have one stair facing towards the front, one facing to the right, two air gaps, and then three dark oak planks. On the front, again, we have a similar pattern to what we had at a lower layer of those two stairs on each side with a chest in the middle. Let's see, is there anything else complicated? No, we're stacking up more stripped logs. And again, we're just throwing in barrels everywhere. Barrels, iron bars, anything to make it look nice and less empty. You could do a Noah's Ark situation and fill it with all of the animal types if you so choose. Make sure you take breaks while building this if you do decide to actually <laughs> build something this ridiculously long and complicated. Yeah, make sure you take breaks, stay hydrated, tell the people you care about that they're important to you. You know, all those all those good things. And we're ready to move on to the next layer. Up we go. This is going to be part of the bird cage at the back, so we'll get to that in a moment. Strip logs again towards the middle. I should probably not miss this dark oak fence. Strip dark oak wood again. Dark oak fence, and this is going to finally start connecting to the rest of the ship. So from there, go into and put one dark oak there. And we'll start from the left and go around the outside. So from this back plank, we're going to go two over. From that plank, we're going to go three over. We'll move in one from the side. Come up one, go four across. So one, two, three, four. Basically an angle of one here, but a length three of planks there. This is a line of three towards the front. Going at an angle again, this time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we are going to do three strip dark oak. And then three planks, two dark oak, and one, two, three, four, five more planks. So, so this is once again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, four, three, two, and five. Coming in at an angle for three. Moving in again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Moving in angle. One, two, three. An angle again. This time one. Make a little L shape here. This one is continuing that pattern. And we're just doing a zigzag all the way to the front middle of the ship, which will be if you include this point on the length of three. One, two, three, four, five diagonal blocks. Going back on the right side of the ship, same zigzag, one, two, three, four, five angled blocks. Including this block, we're going one, two, three back at an angle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the right, not at an angle this time, one, two, three, at an angle, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
angle towards the back for three. A little square of two by two. Another square of two by two. And the final square of two by two. And now we'll start to move to the inside. So in the back we have three dark oak stairs across. Moving off of this angle here. That's the back rudder. Having more angled stairs. These aren't hypercritical as to where you put them. They just make the ship look more round and a little bit nicer. So these back two stacks of logs are going one taller. This one's going one taller and it has one more to the side towards the center of the ship. The next one is one taller and one more towards the back of the ship. The next one is just one taller. And we're going to add some stairs in the front. So by this corner of three, where it then goes longer, one stair there. A corner of stairs up here. Three stairs in the front. One dark oak trapdoor. And more angled stairs on that corner. A stair on this corner. Again, stacking up the dark oak wood on the stairs. This time it's going one towards the front of the ship, in addition to going one up. And we have our stairs and upside down stairs going at an angle again. These two stripped dark oak woods are going up one in height. We got some stairs at the back. And right now I'm going to fill in all of these extraneous decorations. Which is why I'm going to go fast over this part because it is not that important. This is the part where you can flex your creativity. I mean, you can change up any part of this build that you want. But this will be the absolute easiest part to change up. Because you won't have to worry about the shape of anything. This is just interior design. And I struggle the most with interior design in this game. So if you can do it well, power to you because you're doing a lot better than me. So we come to this back rudder. From this stripped log, we are going to go three to the side. Get rid of those. Two more. Two more. And this time two towards the front. Get rid of those intermediate ones. One to the left again. And one, two, three, and four. So a length of five here with this fifth one being the one that we will keep. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Three, then two, then two out and two to the front. One out and four to the front. One, two, three, four. Okay, coming off the very back of the ship, we're going to use dark oak slabs. You can bridge over with whatever you want. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the back. And one, two, three, four. So this is going to be a length of five with this being the ninth one from the back of the ship. And if it's obvious that I miscounted that, then go with whatever you counted. Okay, we have a three by two here with one point out and one more in the back. And a similar thing on this side. We can start the next layer here. These slabs are just going to be in a diamond shape in the middle. Nothing too crazy. As you can see, just a diamond shape there. I believe these are upside down stairs. So I'm actually going to need to place one larger block there, just so I can place the upside down stairs. And then we can angle them off of each other. 
And this just follows the curve around the entire outside. So you just want all of these stairs to curve around. don't know yet, but I do believe that this will be the longest uh, single sitting I'll have to do for a tutorial so far. The Mushroom Stump House took almost three hours, but I think this one's going to take a little bit longer. It's from this back fin, going up with a dark oak fence and four stripped dark oak wood towards the front. On, we'll start with these on the left. We're going one up with the spruce fence on all of them, and all of them will have one more to the left except for that innermost one. This may be inconvenient to go out here and place them, but it's an airship. It's, it's not going to be a convenient thing to build. Should hopefully be very fun to have at the end, though. And just make sure you keep powering through it. Building takes the longest amount of time, but in the end you have something super cool you can play around with and make your own. So here on the sides we did a dark oak planks and then a top slab towards the back. And then at an angle we're going to alternate in strip dark wood and planks. You can have these at an angle, it doesn't really matter. I just get a little bit bothered whenever the guide is off and the highlights orange. So that is why I'm going out of my way to make sure these are all vertical. If that's something that bothers you, you can also make them all vertical, but it doesn't matter that much. So we did planks, log, planks, log with a stair, log, log, planks, and we're going to do log log again. Coming out on the side with a dark oak slab. Then we will go two more slabs towards the front and two to the outside. With two dark oak planks towards the center. Two stripped oak wood towards the center. Or towards the front, sorry. Um, this is a full block and then a half block. And this will continue for, so let's see. We have top slab, top slab, top slab, full top slab. So one, two, three slabs, full block, then a slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stripped wood. I'll just fill these in really quick. And from this position, we have two dark oak slabs. So the second and third block of this section off to the left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more logs, one plank, and four more logs. Then we're moving in one with a log, three planks towards the front, followed by two more logs. So, something like this. <clears throat> Add an angle, log, and three more planks. Two planks at an angle. This one will be a curved stair. So you can throw that one in first. Actually, we might need to just attach it this way. Coming in at an angle, we have that curved stair, which is going to be a little inconvenient to place, so I'm sorry for that two dark oak planks, and then one, two, three, four, five across the bow, and one in the front. Coming back, we have one stair, two planks, one stair, uh, 
and a second stair. And then at an angle. Coming back, we have two planks. One, two, three planks. Wood, planks, two logs, and three planks, followed by one more log. Or wood, rather. It's stripped wood. The logs have the rings on them. We don't want that. We want the wood. So this is four wood back, one plank, and one, two, three, four, five, six wood. And then coming out at an angle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you can tell, the hull should be perfectly mirrored. So coming back at an angle from this, we have one, two, two planks, and then two more logs. And coming off of this corner here, we have a top slab, a full block, three slabs, and then two slabs off the side. And then continuing, continuing this angle from the back, we have planks, log, and another log. Angling for another log and another plank. Another log and another plank. Coming in off this back angle, we're going to have a stair. Stacking up the inner wood poles. And then we go over and one towards the front on the second one. Coming to this staircase, we're stacking up both of these. Again, with normal stairs and upside down stairs to get this angle. The next pillar is having one go towards the front in addition to going one up. This angle from the front of the ship here will have a stair. Same thing on the opposite side. And then going towards the back on the left, the frontmost pillar will have one up and one to the front. The next one will go up one on both of those. The next one will go up one on both of those. The next one is one up and one to the front. Moving back, we go just one up more. And this is start of like a walkway that goes across the middle. So from this third pillar, we're going to come in towards the middle with three slabs. One, two, three, four towards the front. Two across with one in the middle going towards the front. Filling this in with a three by three. One towards the back. Putting in all of these trap doors. in a thick plus shape, and then two more slabs on the back end. And we can start throwing in the extraneous decorations. The important thing about the uh, decos on the inside is that you ultimately just get some light in here, because it will be pretty dark. I did try and leave spaces where light can shine all the way from the sky to the ground, going through the trap doors on the ship, but there will still be places that will get dark that you will need to light up if you don't want mobs to spawn in and destroy all of the work you've done. Which, personally, I greatly dislike when that happens. Going up one more. We're going to throw a fence around the cage in the back. You can just ignore this cage completely or build it later. The order you build things in doesn't really matter, as long as you build them all, or just build what you want. So from the back, we're going up, one fence, four wood to the middle. And we will start on these fences in the back. So this is going up one, and then we have stairs angled away from the middle. Stairs angled away from the front, and two jungle slabs, one back and one towards the front, or one towards the middle. 
The next one goes up with one spruce. Stairs facing away from the middle of the boat, one towards the front, one towards the back, and another jungle plank. Next one, similar thing. Stairs away, stairs towards the front, stairs back, and this is slab, slab, and from this, one in and an angle for slab, and another angled slab. The next one is going up one as well, again with the stairs. Just to make these three across. Two slabs and slabs at angles over here. And we'll just do the exact same thing but mirrored on the right side of the ship. Because what I ultimately did was design half of this and then use world edit to copy and flip it over. So that way I did not have to do nearly as much work. Fence up and again upside down stairs with slabs at the back. This fence goes up, stairs, and then we'll throw in some of these slabs. This is going to make the base of a walkway that goes around the back of the ship. So three stripped wood from the side. And just for my own peace of mind, I'm going to make sure that they're vertical, which again, you really don't need to do. Planks there, and then we have stairs curving off the back of these. So these two are stairs. Okay, so these two, these four are all stairs. This is a plank. This is a slab. And we're going to come in from here with two more. Make a little L shape out of the wood. Slab for this one. Stairs facing towards the back. So I'm going to throw that log in first so I have something to place it on. Upside down stairs towards the back. And stairs and stairs just to make that little curve. And from this stair, we're going to go more logs towards the front. So let me just place some supports here. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six towards the front. And these are more stairs. This one's going to be angled towards the back, towards the front, towards the back, towards the side. Oh, and these just carry around all the way to the front of just upside down stairs. So from here, this is somewhat confusing. So from these angles going up from this corner off of this fin C shape into this, this is a, these are all upside down stairs. And this is a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine stairs here, three stairs here. And this little L shape is made out of slabs. Skipping one air block, we have two jungle slabs. Skipping two, jungle slab, skip one, jungle slab, skip one, jungle slab here. 
And this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 more stripped wood towards the front. Moving in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, 7 and 8. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Coming in an angle again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Coming in at an angle, 1, 2. Switching back to planks, 1, 2, angle for 2, angle for 2. And this will be double thick of width, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll have an angle for two here, angle for two, angle for two, two stripped wood, and one, two, three, four, five going back off of an angle. More coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight off of an angle. And this is the longer section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. From here, we'll go one towards the front and in one. And back one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then in an angle we have one. An angle we have two. One towards the middle. And three from the back. And then again on the side with the absolutely horrible stairs. So we'll start from the back again. This inner one is going to be a plank, but these are all going to be stairs curling around. You know, a lot of the things that I build in creative mode, I don't really think about for survival. That should be a plank there. So one, two, three, four, five, six stairs with one plank. And then one plank and a curve of upside down stairs on the outside. Okay, so for here, we have stairs facing from the back, from this corner. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stairs. Off the front of this, skip one block, got a jungle slab, going back, jungle slab, skip a block, jungle slab, skip two, two slabs, skip a block back, and we have this L shape of slabs yet again. And now we get to move on to the middle. So this will be the front, or this will be the back right pillar. Up one and one to the back. This one doubles up. This one just has one more on the front side. The stairs are going up again. This time with a trap door on the side. And two logs and some planks. Coming in to flatten this out. And then we're going to curve across with more stripped wood. So from the center of the stairs, it's going to be one towards the front, one, two, three towards the middle, one towards the front, one, two, three across. This is going to be one towards the front. And we're going back one. We're doing three to the outside with another one facing the front and two from the outside. So 
from this point here, you go up one, two towards the middle, one towards the front, three towards the middle, one towards the front, three across, one more, go back one, three towards the outside, one more, go back one, and then connect it to the side. So this pillar here is going to have two more wood on top of it. This pillar on the left side is going to have two more wood on top of it. This pillar back here is going to have one wood on the back and one more on going towards the back. The next one will have one more. Then we'll double up on both of those. And the last one will have one more and one additional one going towards the back of the ship. From our center bridge, we will have three stairs going across, which will be floating, so we have to find a way to connect them. Some trap doors on the side. These are going to be upside down stairs, which Looks like I angled them away to make a little more of a curve, which is honestly just inconvenient for me. <laughs> and we have trap doors on the inside, which we will all be facing out and flip them all up to make the railing for this walkway. And then off the back of the ship, we will skip a section. So one air block, stairs facing the front, stairs facing the left and right sides, and one stair facing the back. Going from the staircase here, as you can see, there's mostly just stairs going around the outside. I like that little bit more depth to the build. You can skip that and throw in full planks if you want or just slabs all the way around the outside. But I like the look of these stairs. So the entire wall is going to be rimmed with stairs. And that includes the frontmost part of the ship. This angle back here is somewhat important between this pillar and this curve that we made through the middle. These are all going to be upside down stairs and this is going to be a full plank. For this intermediate part, we'll have three stairs with slabs coming back until it kind of connects up with that middle bridge that we made earlier. And this again will also have a trapdoor railing. This one's on the outside of the block, whereas these ones previously were on the inside part. And then the rest of this just gets filled in with slabs. And we'll have one gap for trapdoors in the middle. So taking this three wide section. We'll do a little 3x3 three three that lines up with that walkway in the middle. And then do a 3x3 three three of trapdoors. And then the rest of it is truly just top slabs. And a similar structure will be generated for a floor in the back of the ship. One thing that I did not ultimately decorate during this build was the inside of the hot air balloon section. 
So the balloon that makes the airship an airship is completely empty. It's just a very large empty room and we can fill it with whatever you want, really. You could have it be completely empty. You could have it be the ultimate, like, captain's headquarters. It's really up to you. And if you make anything cool, it would be awesome if you tagged me in it so I could see what people have ultimately done with my design. On the birdcage on the back. We're just moving one up with fences all the way around. Coming back to the center of the ship, on top of the fence on the back, we are adding three more stripped logs. This is just going to be a lot of jungle logs here. So from this side, from the very back, actually, we'll start here. We go one, two, three, four, five, six across. Moving one in towards the center, we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. Moving in again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across. So to mirror it on the opposite side, we'll go nine again. And then we'll go eight. And then we'll go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, we're going to move in towards the front of the ship. One more jungle log. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, all the way out to this side. And nine again on the right side. Going in one more from the back of the ship, we'll do stripped wood. So one in the center, and then one, two, three, four on the left, and four on the right, making this nine wide across, to which we will attach one, two, three, four, five jungle wood on both sides. And then we'll go in at an angle here, and out four more. In at an angle, out four. In at an angle, out three. Then three more forwards. We'll get three at an angle here. Or three going to the left. Three more to the left. One to the left for the inner part, two more. And then from here, we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight forwards. With jungle wood coming off the side for all eight of those, plus one additional one going one forwards. And we will mirror this on the opposite side. So flying over here, we can go angle, 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 and then three more, one to the right, and including this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towards the front. And then we fill in the jungle wood. Four out, four out, three, 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 two, and then one until we go one past this section. So this trim here will be going from the middle at an angle back, upside down stair, right side up, two upside down, one right side up, and then this will be a bunch of upside down ones curving around the back till we get above this one. We'll go one more, and then we, if we're one back from this thicker dark oak wood section, we will have a right side up stair, and then transition to three more upside down ones. One right side up, one upside down, one right side up, and 
a lot more upside down ones. And this will be one, two, three, four, five. So including that one, we're going to move five up then two out to do a right side up stair. Two upside down ones, one right side up one, and then upside down ones for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to curve that one off. Same thing on the opposite side. Upside down, right side up, two upside down, one up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down, one up, one, two, three down, one up, one down, one up, one, two, three, four, five, six down, one up, two down, one up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down. <clears throat> so we'll start on the left. From the end of this jungle wood, we'll go two spruce planks towards the front, two dark oak wood, one spruce plank, one, two, three, four, five, six wood. Moving at an angle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wood. An angle for four, and an angle for one, and then plank, wood, plank, angle, wood, plank, angle, plank, wood, and then going towards the middle, plank, plank, at an angle jutting out, plank, going back, plank, plank, and wood. Back planks at an angle, plank then wood, then plank, wood, plank, wood, going back. Take another angle, one, two, three, four, wood, and another angle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wood, going back. I feel like I'm going slightly insane just talking about the same things over and over again. But hey, that's part of the job. One, two, three, four, five, six wood coming back from there at an angle. Then plank, two wood, and two planks. It's kind of fun though. Next we'll fill in this back section. So if you are looking at the stairs, not this section of dark wood, not this one, but just after this one and two spruce section. Take one dark oak, one more, and then we go one, two, three towards the middle, one towards the back, two towards the middle, one towards the back, one, two, three, four, five across. Similar thing on this side. Not this spruce one, not these two spruce ones, but starting two dark oak wood from that, one, two, three towards the middle, one towards the back, two towards the middle, and one towards the back. And then I'll just fill in this section with right side up stairs, slabs, and trap doors, just to complete this walkway. Connecting the back of the ship from the front of the ship. This again is going to be lined with stairs. As I stated previously on the other one, you can just ignore that. It's not critically important. You, you, can, just, you can just put slabs down. No one's going to be upset with you for that, and it'll look nice in the end anyways. Stairs going around the edge, which might as well just be slabs. It's just whether or not you want this extra tiny angle. <laughs> if you don't, then it's totally not worth it. Okay, so for this back post here, back leftmost one, I'm going to double up on both of those. 
the back rightmost post. We're going to double up on both of those. From the center of our walkway, we have two blocks back. So for me, it's stair slab. You could just do slab slab. But we need a three by three of trap doors again. As you can see, the trap door in the middle lines up with this one, which is what allows light to go from the very top of the build all the way to the bottom. And then we can fill in the rest of this area with slabs. The most fun and efficient part of this build, because I can just bam through it as fast as I can. Of all the things that I've made, this is by far the most spacious on the inside. Which I mean, I'd really hope so, because it's the biggest thing by far. And it'll be floating in the air, so probably don't make this until you've gotten an elytra after beating the end. Otherwise, you might just have a lot of deaths to falling, which I don't think anybody would want. So, going on these pillars, we'll just stack these up again. This is Going from the back left, this is the third one. It's going to go up one, and then one towards the middle. Next one is a double up on both. The next one um, is going to be this one, which will just go up one more. And then we've covered everything towards the back of the ship. So off the top of these stairs, we can throw some more trap doors down, all from the inside. Oh wait, not those two. Those two have to be facing that way. So they can flip up and make this kind of banister railing. Same thing here. Just filling in that railing there. You don't have to put one if you don't want one. Got a railing there. And next to this pillar, so that's the back of the ship facing the front. Next to this pillar on the left, we're going to start our second staircase going to the top deck. From here, this is the captain's quarters, which for me is in the front of the ship this time. So going from the stairs, from this top stair, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one stripped wood to the right, one towards the back. These are both spruce. Going from the left of this to a dark oak and a dark oak. This is a spruce log. And then two more spruce towards the middle. Dark oak fence, strip spruce wood, a door, dark oak, spruce two, Dark Oak 2, Spruce 1, and 1. In here, Dark Oak Wood, Fence, Cobblestone Walls. So this will look at it from the front of the ship. This is the area that separates the captain's quarters from the rest of the boat. So on this rightmost side, we're going to have a barrel that will also act like a table. These decorations are also optional. You can decorate this room however you want. This is just something that I have done. There is no window in this room. You could always punch out uh, one of the sides of the boat. I would not suggest punching out a hole in the front of the boat for it. But you can ultimately do whatever you want. So this back here will be the captain's chair, which is just four trapdoors. 
made out to look like a chair. Gilded Blackstone is just part of the whole treasure trove, since this is a air pirate ship. And this is just a stack of barrels because I kind of ran out of ideas as to what to put in this room. If you have any ideas of how to decorate this place better, definitely throw it down in the comments or link me something that you've done. Because like I said previously, interior design is hard for me, so I'm always looking for more and better ideas. This is just a small globe. These are all topside trapdoors. So you can't do it like that. You have to go off the top of an adjacent block. This will ultimately be the captain's table, which will be chained to the ceiling. So it'll have a hanging effect to it. And that should be done for this layer. On to the back. We're making such quick progress. Dark oak fence up yet another layer in the cage. I don't ever mean to go too terribly fast through these. I just get a little antsy and I can't help it. So from the back, two more dark oak wood. And this is just going to have a ring of dark oak fence along all of these jungle pieces. So counting here isn't the most necessary thing because anytime you see this jungle overhang, you know you can throw a dark oak fence on top of it. And if you don't like how the fence looks, you can always replace it with a different barricade. You could use a similar trapdoor one. You could always do, I've seen people do lecterns with trapdoors on top of them. That also tends to look pretty nice. So off this back corner here, this first corner, we're going to go one, including this block, one, two, three, four. On this fourth one, a stripped spruce log. Same thing on the back left. One, two, three, four. Stripped spruce log. This is the entrance to the back of the ship. So one air block to walk through. Mossy cobblestone on each side. And we'll start on the left. Strip dark oak wood. Three. Angle two. One spruce wood. Stripped dark oak wood, three towards the front, one over, including this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards the front. Then spruce planks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two wood. And one, two, three more spruce planks. This time with a spruce stairs on the very end. Going from that spruce stair, including this one, three back. Dark oak trapdoor on the outside. Doesn't matter if you place it on top or bottom, just make sure it's flipped up to go flush with the build. From an angle, planks, two wood, two planks, two wood. At an angle, four wood. Moving in one, we'll have four more towards the front. And another angle in, we'll have three more. Oh, that one's angled that way. Uh, another angle in, we have one more. Angle in for planks. Log. Angle for log again. Angle back for a log. 
then out to the side for planks and now going back towards the back of the ship at an angle of one there three back with wood one two three four back over one and including that four back angled one two two planks two wood one plank this one is a upside down stair and then we'll go back two planks one with a trap door on it another plank two wood one two three four five six seven eight nine ten planks and then one two three four five six seven dark oak wood moving in one three dark oak wood spruce wood two dark oak wood to make that l there and then three dark oak wood to match back up with this mossy cobblestone and that'll be the outermost layer so now we're going on the inside this is a armory and a food shop you can replace the inside of these rooms with whatever you want so we'll do the outside of the room first so from our walkway take the middle block one two back throw in a door dark wood on either side spruce wood at an angle spruce at an angle two dark oak coming back out and then three strips spruce on the side so again or from this trap door however you want to orient yourself spruce spruce two dark oak and three spruce so getting the right side shop in here these are all upside down stairs this one's at an angle here these two are at an angle just to make a little gap so this one's facing towards the front this one's facing towards the back and this one's facing towards the left side this one's also facing towards the back we have a trap door so you can walk through smoker smithing table this is all stairs here um oh stairs were like that two mossy cobblestone on either side of a door you can put whatever you want in there i just put an armor stand because again, my creativity is lacking sometimes. On to the left side, from the second angled back spruce, cobblestone door, cobblestone wall, two stairs there, stair there, stair coming facing the right side of the ship, stair facing the front of the ship to get that little gap chest, <clears throat> anvil, stair, trap door, and then the set of three stairs again. So an angled one on either side and a regular upside down one in the middle. <clears throat> Got to put railings on this. So from the sides we have dark oak fence and a gate, to spruce wood, fence, gate, fence. Same thing but mirrored. Fence, 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 gate, wood, fence, gate, fence. So this pillar from before we'll double up on and looking at the wall behind it we'll add one stair directly across with one more on either side. The next pillar goes up one more on the back side. The pillar on the right goes up one and also gets one going towards the front of the ship. Same location as on this side, these three stairs, we're going to have more directly on the opposite side. So this will be from this fence post, one, two, three blocks, and then three upside down stairs. Going on to the front, we're just doubling up on all of these walls. 
Wall, wall. We're just not doubling up on this one, but we're doubling up on the rest of this. Fence is going one higher, and there's now going to be a fence on these cobblestone walls. Throwing in a chest, and again, more optional decorations. This is just one way I like making small tables to put chests on. The leaves just make the room look a little more grown over, which is a look that I go for a lot of the time. Again, I'm just throwing down what would be barrels full of whatever treasure the captain wants on hand. This is my stack of barrels that are going to be strapped down so they don't roll around. With just some rails on top to create that kind of strap look. These chains. <clears throat> oh, these chains are what is ultimately going to attach this table to the ceiling. These are additional touches just for design that you don't necessarily need. You can always throw a normal map in this item frame instead of an empty map. But that part of the design is best left to the individual. So we're adding another set of regular and upside down stairs with another trapdoor on the outside. And that is good enough for this layer. And we have made it a very small portion of the entire build. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get to the end eventually. So going up again with the fencing on all of these. And then we will add top slabs to all of the corners. So all of these single posts you could attach a top slab to. The lantern has to be attached to the bottom side of a block, so that's just going to be ignored for now. On this middle center of the back, we have planks and one wood going towards the front. We're adding walls on top of these logs. Fence on top of these walls. Two wood, an L shape of planks. One wood, one non-stripped wood. Stripped wood, another L of planks, this time with a trap door on the outside. Two wood towards the front. Planks, upside down stair, planks. Three wood, planks, right side up stair, planks. And then three dark oak fence. Planks, stair, planks. Two more wood. This one has an open trapdoor on it. That's very important. Next plank has a closed trapdoor. Or maybe that's open, that's closed. I don't know. This one's sticking out of the ship. That one's flush against it. Stair, plank, plank, stair. At an angle, two wood, four planks, with the second plank going towards the front, having a trapdoor. Next angle one, two planks, two wood. Moving in, we have plank, wood, plank, two wood. Angle of two wood, and then angles of wood until we get to the point of the ship. Including the point, this is one, two, three, four diagonal blocks. 
five diagonal blocks. Sorry. One more towards the back, an angle of two. Then plank, wood, planks. And then from this wood, go over one, one towards the back, two more planks towards the back, an angle of one, and then including this one, two, three, four towards the back, the second to last one towards the back having a closed or flush trap door. Two more wood towards the back. We can double up on this wood here. This one's coming one in from the back. This one's doubled up on. These two are doubled up on. This is doubled up on. This is a horizontal one going across the door. Two more spruce. <coughs> Dark oak wood on top. And this one gets doubled up and this one gets shifted back one from where it was. This fence gets another fence on top. Around the door they get walls and an open fence gate. Now one gets another dark oak fence. So we'll go from the back of the ship for this part just because it's easier to attach blocks to each other in this orientation. So we'll go two wood, an L of planks, wood, non-stripped wood, Wood, another L of planks. This one with a trap door. It's flush. Two wood. Planks upside down, stairs, and planks. Followed by three wood. Planks right side up, stairs, and planks. Three fence. Planks, stairs, planks. Two wood. If this is ever <laughs> on awful to listen to, really do go listen to some music because that's normally what I would be doing but people have asked for voiceovers so I will do my best to do that for them if it helps build if it helps other people construct this in any way we have two upside down stairs off of this corner just in case I did not mention that We'll go back to constructing the rooms at the back of the ship now. So to continue on with this wall, I'm going to double up on everything but that front part. We have more stairs as shelves. We have more decorations. These bits are not <laughs> super critical. We have a cake here for the food shop. Blast furnaces and smokers. Again for decoration. Stairs for shelves. And dark oak fence to accentuate the door. And of course, more displays for food, which I will not fill in at this point in time. You can put whatever food there you want. So from this wall, we have three upside down stairs. This pillar is going up one more. This pillar is also going up one more. The same three stairs on this back left side. This pillar is going up one more on the side in the middle. This window of fences will have shroom lights, upside down stairs on the sides, and trap doors to close it off from the inside of the ship. Above these stairs on this side, again for the window, shroom lights, stairs, and trap doors.
This pillar is getting doubled up. This pillar by the stairs is going up one. We are increasing the stairs and upside down stairs by one. And we are continuing this guardrail. From this corner, we have two upside down stairs, just like on that side. And now more decorations for the captain's quarters. Chest, throwing in some leaves. Some more barrels and blackstone. The gilded kind, because we're fancy. Chains to attach this to the ceiling. And we are done for this layer. Moving on to the next one. Continuing the bird cage, we are putting a slab with a stair in the middle on top of the triple wide fences. Slabs at an angle. And again, the slab stair on these fences with just an angled slab to go around. So just repetition of this pattern on every side. And then on the inner part of each of these is three more slabs. can attach the light on the bottom. So whoever gets caught in the cage doesn't have to live in darkness. We're increasing this back fin with planks and wood. These pillars are going up with dark oak fence. We have a prismarine arch over the doorway. So stairs and upside down stairs. Wood on either side of this back door frame. And then we can do one plank out to the side, angle in of three more planks, one towards the front, one to the side, spruce wood again, another plank towards the front. At an angle, planks for four. This one has a trap door on it. Three dark oak fence. Planks, upside down stairs, two dark oak wood. Upside down stairs, planks, four fences, two planks, some black stone, two dark oak wood, a one spruce plank, two fence two spruce planks. Let's go back here. Um, so for this stair, upside down stair, the one to the right of it has this flat trap door. Around the black stone, we'll need to attach a temporary block. But we have our vertical trap doors. This corner will have another trap door off of it. And we'll angle in for two wood, a planks with a trap door, planks, upside down stairs, planks, going in one with planks, and then including that one, one, two, three towards the front, one strip dark oak wood, one more planks here, and then including that one, one, two, three, four, five to the front, trap door on this one, planks, 
dark oak wood, and then an angle for two more dark oak wood, an angle for one, angle for one, and then we have the point. This is going to be three across, an angle one back, an angle for two going back, an angle for one, and then a spruce planks. Planks, one, two, three, four, five, going back. Trap door here. Sp stripped wood here. Goodness, my brain just broke for a second. Spruce wood, three back. One out. Upside down stair. Two spruce planks. Trap door. Two wood. Two planks, two fence, one plank, two wood, one blackstone, two planks, four fence, plank, stair, two wood, upside down stairs, planks, three fence, Planks, 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 planks. On top of this trapdoor, we have another flush one. To the left of this block arrangement, we have another trapdoor. Again, with the temporary blocks, we have two vertical trapdoors around this black stone. This angle here, after these two fences, has a flat trapdoor. And now we can move on to the inside. So these walls in the back start here. This is actually we'll start against these fences. We have shroom lights. Cap it off on the sides. All of these shroom lights will essentially have the same pattern. Strip spruce up there. Strip dark oak here the horizontal one over the doorway doubling up on the spruce doubling up on the dark oak spruce and we have the more shroom lights which we're going to cover up Cover them up with trapdoors because it takes less space and it allows light to go through them. Above this anvil encounter, we have an upside down stair. Dark prismarine stair arch over this and over the other door. more decorations in this room. Of course, those would actually be useful. Okay, from this corner here, we'll finish up this curve, which I should have done a little bit earlier. Above this door, we have upside down stairs. We're going to increase the height of this pillar on the left. This one will have an additional one going towards the front. This one on the left will have one more on top. Shroom lights will continue having the trap doors on the back and being against those outside fences. Dark oak stairs on each side. That one was down, the one towards the front of the ship is... Oh, that one's down, the other one's up. Shroom light on the opposite side. Again, four across. Stairs going up. And the stairs going down towards the back of the ship. Because it's going to angle up that way. <clears throat> this pillar will increase one in height. Blackstone gets a trapdoor on the back side. Same light treatment for this window. As 
as is for over here. <clears throat> Trapdoor on the back of this one. Continuing the railing over here. Strip dark oak wood. Continuing that pillar up. We're going to continue the stairs up one more layer. We'll be nearing the top kind of soonish. <laughs> Not the top of the whole build, mind you, just the top of the ship. All of these are going to be increasing in height. This one is over a gap. Dark oak there. Again, we just kind of have the spruce inset by the dark oak. Inside the captain's quarters for more design. Cobblestone walls on top here. Not on that one, that one's just a fence. Fence here with a light. Another shelf. This one's a shelf made out of trapdoors. You're throwing in some more foliage. Chains on the front of the table and fences on the back. Another chest for stuff and a lot more blackstone that's gilded. Some more leaves. Just because when things are filled with leaves and greenery, it looks nice. Uh, another shelf on the left side. And we've managed to get through yet another layer. Pretty cool. Slowly but surely, this will all be completed. If I can do this all in one sitting, hopefully you can do it in a lot more sittings. Don't try and do this all in one go. That would be horrible. I'd feel awful for you. <laughs> also, don't try and talk this much at once. I feel like this pattern's easy to follow. It's just trapdoors above these points with a square of stairs going through the center where the spruce wood just moves up one. This is just moving up another layer. The fence on the back. Fence increasing this pillar. Fence increasing that pillar. We have the arch over the doorway in the back. This is getting an accent trap door on top. We'll go off the left side again. Two planks from here. Angle two planks, up one over one. Spruce wood, up one, planks, angle, plank, plank, trap door, stair, plank, two, three, four fences, two planks, blackstone, placeholder block, trap doors, get rid of the placeholder, and then after the blackstone is wood. Two planks, followed by three stairs. Planks, stairs, planks with this bottom trap door to finish the cannon port. Planks, two more wood, two more fence, planks, blackstone, placeholder block for two vertical trap doors. Planks, planks, wood, wood, fence, fence, plank, plank. Moving in, plank, plank with two wood. This one gets to have a trap door. Moving in from here, planks, and then one, two, three, four more with another trap door. 
Angle of three blocks, one plank, two wood. Angle of two, making this L shape. Then make a C shape at the front. Then an L. And then three blocks angled back from there. You can always slow this video down if I'm going too fast. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm sorry when I speed up. I, <laughs> I'm, I don't really ever try to that much. I just do sometimes. Okay, from this trapdoor, two wood, trapdoor, plank, 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 two fence, two wood, one plank, and then we move out one more. Plank, and then cannon port. Planks, two fences, two wood, two planks, bottom trap door, fence, plank, three fence, going over the shroom light, two planks, one wood, another cannon port, two planks, four fence, Plank, stair, plank, trap door, plank, an angle, two blocks, a little zigzag, and then two blocks to attach it to the back. Flipping around the inside of the back, we have stairs on these inner corners. We got another shelf here, wood and a shelf. Stairs for where the shroom lights are going to go to continue that pattern. Two spruce. Two dark oak. This spruce is getting angled in from before. This is doubling up. This is just one over the doorway. Dark oak wood going up. Spruce going up by one. Warped trap door on top of both of these arches. Two dark oak wood going up. Two spruce wood on the back. And another stair. And we can cover in, or we can cover up the fences with the shroom light coverings. Upside down stair on that part going towards the front of the ship. Same thing on this side. This back left pillar is going up one and has one more towards the front of the ship. This one is a doubling up on the back right. Cover the black stone with a trap door on the inside. Another layer of shroom lights on the left side of the ship. Stairs on both sides. One trapdoor on the backmost one, because this is going to have stairs. Flush with that one. And then two across like normal, and this is going to be flush upside down stairs. And two across like normal. This pillar is going up by one again. This next pillar is going up by one, with one going towards the back of the ship. And we are continuing the railing, one more set back. Shroom light on this side is just like normal. The pillar on the right lower staircase is going up by one more. Shroom light like normal. Cover up the cannon port.
room light like normal. Cover up the cannon port. Okay, and now this wall again. Starting from the middle, go up by a dark oak wood. Five spruce is the next layer back. Then the spruce gets angled. Dark oak. For two. Spruce for one and spruce for one. Mirroring on the opposite side. Spruce one, dark oak two. Spruce one. And spruce one. Moving on the inside to the captain's quarters. The accents above the door are fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, fence. And we can attach a lantern underneath now. Shroom light like normal. This one's only two in size. But we're covering up all the windows the same way. So they get a nice glow on the outside, and we don't have to deal with just seeing clumps of shroom lights on the side of the boat. We're just throwing some decorations on the shelf now. Going one more towards the front of the ship, we have another shelf. In the very front, yet again, more gilded blackstone. These decorations here are, like I stated before, and I probably will again, very optional. You can do whatever you want here. Don't even feel stuck trying to get like a similar theme. You, you can literally just do whatever you want. As you can see, we have the table that is attaching to what well, will actually be a crossbeam, not the ceiling itself. But it's chains, three up, fence on top for the front part, and in the back it's two chains up, fence, and then stone wall. Again, going towards the back of the ship, it's getting a lot bigger. <clears throat> which is nice the back cage is now just going to go up by a fence <clears throat> this back rudder is going up in height once again this is going up by one this is going up by one from the middle we have a five wide strip dark oak one plank one wood. I have a fence coming off and a fence coming down with a light on it. On the left side, similar thing with the plank and the wood going in at an angle. Dark oak wood, a two by two of planks. Spruce wood. This 2x2 two two is planks and dark oak wood. One fence, three planks, three fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Dark oak wood in a line going towards the front. Two more. Actually, we'll go back here for a second. Bottom trapdoor above that cannon port. Bottom trapdoor above this cannon port. And this was the two spruce planks and then stair and upside down stair. From the right side upstair, it'll go in one plank. One plank towards the front. Dark oak wood, two fence planks. Upside down stairs, a zigzag of planks, and here's another cannon port. So 
So give it a placeholder block. Break that out. Dark oak wood. Spruce planks behind that. Dark oak wood. Two planks, two planks. One dark oak wood, one dark oak wood, and a zigzag of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks to the front. So including the front again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zigzag. Wood, wood, and four planks, and a little S shape. One wood, one wood at an angle, and another cannon port. Placeholder block. Get rid of that one. We got planks on the inside. One, two, three, four, five of them. Upside down stairs. Spruce planks, two fence. One wood, two planks, upside down stair facing the front of the ship. Regular stair, plank, plank, finish the cannon port. This is the, I believe, 17 one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Finish the cannon port. Three fence, three planks, one fence, a two by two of fence and wood. Spruce wood, two by two of planks. Dark oak wood to finish the lap around the ship. Now again, working on this wall back here. From before, moving up spruce, spruce, spruce yet again. Dark oak, spruce, spruce, spruce three across. Another angle of spruce, spruce, dark oak, spruce, and two spruce. One dark oak in the very front. We have our small shroom light, done the same way as the other ones. We have another shelf here. We have a grindstone in the back. Armor stands for decorations, which I won't be throwing in. Another item. I guess I forgot this stair here. This is another single shroom light window, just like on the other side. This one is the same as all of the other ones we've seen. This pillar is increasing one in height on the front side part of the ship. Back left is getting doubled up in another shroom light window. Kind of like a jet plane on autopilot at this time. I feel like I'm moving very slow and also a million miles an hour. Capping this one off with stairs. We're capping the next one off with stairs. Same on the opposite side. One more layer of stairs. Strip dark oak wood. Carry on the railing. Two dark oak wood there. This one is increasing by height by one. Need to continue the wall by the captain's quarters. Spruce wood by two. Dark oak one. Spruce across. Oops. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One dark oak going up. 
dark oak, and doubling up on spruce. Shroom light window, like always. Dark oak stairs. Shroom light window again. They're not that creative, there's just a lot of them. This is what I do sometimes for hanging plants. Because that will connect up to the ceiling and it'll look like it is part of the plant attaching to the ceiling and hanging down. From the cannon port addition to the dark oak in the front, this will be what the table is attached to. So it should be pretty obvious where it should go based on the parts below it, at least. Then we start getting straps made out of these trap doors. This lines up with the trap doors on the bottom. And these are just on the far side. more decorations. Okay, again to the back. This is going up by one. Spruce planks and dark oak wood. The middle is just going to be a full layer of dark oak wood with one overhang on each side. Two more spruce off of this. One black glass stain panel in the middle. Two spruce. And this is where another hanging light is going to come down from. This pillar now has a wall on top, same with the opposite side. From this back, we're going to do another 2x2. Two two. Angle of 1, and another 2x2. Two two. two fence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 dark oak there. Bottom of another cannon port. Planks, stairs, planks. Two dark oak wood with a fence. Two planks with a trap door. Fence plank. Wood wood fence. Spruce planks by two. Trap door. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh overhanging dark oak wood. Coming back to here, we'll start with this inner row of dark oak wood, which is almost all overhangs. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that one is 14 long. Moving in by 1. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Moving in by 1 again from back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Finish this cannon port. Little L shape here. One, two, three, four. Overhang of a dark oak. In one, dark oak to the front. Two to the front. Three across the front. And now we're doing the same thing but in reverse on the way back. So two, dark oak plank. Overhanging wood. L on the way back, one, two, three, four, five dark oak. 
come two after that. We got one, two, three, four. Finish the cannon port. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen long for that strip. Then coming one, two, three, four, five, six, and one over. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back. Plank with a trap door. And then another plank. Wood with a fence and a light. If you're doing this from the top in survival, you can always just click on the side and it will attach it to the bottom of this. If it's possible. So from here, another dark oak wood. Plank stairs, planks with a trap door. Planks. Wood, wood, fence, lantern, planks with an upside down stair in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dark oak. Bottom of a cannon port here. Two fence, a two by two over here. Spruce planks, spruce wood, fence with a light on it, another 2x2, two two, and a stair facing the back. So we made another ring around. And now we'll work on the inner part of this shop. Which again is a lot of optional design pieces. Shroom lights. The part that is mostly necessary. Oops. Is this wall going across just to separate these rooms. Two strips spruce and dark oak. Spruce, spruce, three spruce across, one dark oak up in front, two angled spruce, dark oak, and two spruce again. Shroom light like normal. This one's upside down. Trap door. And off the back of this, at this height, we now have upside down stairs in those four corners. You can just throw in these chains off of this post. Chains with the light. Cap off these shroom lights. This back left post is going up one towards the front. On the back right, cap off those lights. Same thing with the post. Post at the top of, top of these stairs is going up by one. This is going up by one towards the back of the ship. This one's going up by one. Trap door railing again. Spruce stairs again. This time curving around at the end. Two spruce, one dark oak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spruce. One dark oak jutting out from the middle. Another dark oak at an angle. And two more spruce. Cap off the light and throw some fence in for an accent. Same thing on this side. Above the doorway, we have 
more lights. Top of this bamboo flower pot, we're going to have a fence post. So it looks like it connects a little bit more. Finishing the strap on this crossbeam. And covering the connection with stairs against the wall. Throwing in some leaves just to make it look a little bit nicer. Gilded black stone in the back of the ship. Or this is the front of the ship, sorry. More lights. And that is it for yet another layer. It's coming along swimmingly. Again with the fence on the back. This pillar is now dark oak and fence towards the back, spruce towards the front, and more black stained glass in between. This is another line of dark oak wood. One in the middle, one, two, three, four on each side. Another up and over for the spruce wood. These pillars are going up by a brick wall again. On these corners we have two by two stripped wood, one overhang. Spruce wood again, and we're finally making it to the deck of the ship. Stripped dark oak wood, and another two by two fence, two wood, one black stone, making another cannon port. Planks, stairs, three planks. Don't forget the strap door. Stairs, planks, oak fence with a light. Two dark oak wood, four planks. We have a fence and a trap door on that. Two more wood, the fence and a light. Planks, fence, planks, planks and trap door. Planks, planks with a light attached. Planks upside down stair. Wood, wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planks going up from there. Don't forget the two light fixtures. And of course, this trap door. Then we have yet more planks. This here is going to be a two by three, and this is a two by two. Overhang of a strip dark oak wood. We have a chain and a light here. And then we're going to do this dark oak wood up to the front. So three there, one, two, three, four here. Three there with one overhang. Three there with one overhang. One in, and then one at an angle towards the front. With this surrounded by andesite slabs. And on the way back, we have stripped wood with one overhang, including that one, it's three back, overhang with three back. This one's just four back, this one's just three back. This is one overhang and a two by three. This is a two by two with a trap door and a light fixture. Three spruce planks back, and we have another light fixture. 
one spruce plank back and we can go diagonal for stripped dark oak wood upside down spruce stair two planks one fence with a light planks and a trap door two planks and another fence two dark oak wood and a fence planks planks with a trap door planks planks and a fence two dark oak wood planks and a fence upward stairs three planks and a trap door upward stairs planks and then another cannon hole two more dark oak wood fence two by two of dark oak one spruce wood an overhang of dark oak and a two by two of dark oak again and that completes the outer rim now we're going into the fancy room in the back of the ship just adding some chains grindstones kind of generic decorations of course treating the shroom light like we always have so far okay and then if we're looking from the back of the ship in the middle we have spruce on these three sides with a trap door right there strip spruce dark oak wood and two spruce same thing on the opposite side two spruce two dark oak wood and then two spruce cover up these cannons all right these appear to all be planks but before we get to that we'll do the cabin in the front starting from the very front of the ship gilded blackstone increase this pillar by one there's a light fixture on this corner there's a light fixture on the opposite corner as well more leaf blocks just to make it look a little bit nicer and then off of this corner here we have another light fixture same thing on the opposite side just some decorations over here this is going to attach to the ceiling on a wall some more decorations on this side those little accents help a lot more walls there and we'll finish up this separating wall spruce wood dark oak more spruce all the way across and this is just stacking up on the previous layers and then we got the stairs so this pillar from before is still going up by one we have upside down stairs going around it that one's hard to place we have a stair here and then a slab and oh a stair off of this as well so this is also an upside down stair oh not that one that one stair slab stair this is a stair as well slab here and at the top of the stairs okay those don't have any support against them so I'll just fill these in real quick these are just solid planks and then going from the right part of the stairs up run into this plank and to the left of it we will attach some stairs one two three four five and six 
And from here we can attach these trap doors. And then the rest will all be planks. As far as I can tell. Oh, nope. I put slabs around these. You could just do planks. The slabs give it a little more transition. So it's not like a huge cutout in the roof. But if nobody looks up, it doesn't matter all that much. Um. Okay. So after that ring of slabs, everything else is just planks. So this outer row up to here, we can go back one, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, we can go one, two, three, four in. And then come up one, two, one more in, one out. Then going back, one, two, three, back, including that one, one, two, three, four, five to the edge of the ship. Connecting this to the front. And the rest of this is filled in with planks. If you have not yet taken a break, I implore you, go eat something, go drink something, go to sleep. Just do something else and come back at a later time. It's a lot of work and you definitely don't need to do it that quickly. I mean, it's impressive if you can, but don't overwork yourself. It is just Minecraft after all. Okay, so where this wall is, you can stop when we get to being one away from being flush with this block, or you can go up to this stair, one back away from that cannon port, however you want to determine this distance. And then that is yet another layer completed. OK, and now we are going to throw another fence post on the back. I know, very unexpected. We're continuing this curve up. Fence post, dark oak wood, and some more black stained glass panes connecting to a strip dark oak wood. Three planks on the left two dark oak wood, three planks on the right with two dark oak wood. These spruce wood curves are going to continue up. Some spruce wood is going to go on top of these pillars. Two by two spruce planks over here, more spruce wood coming up, two spruce planks on the inside, three dark oak wood on the outside, then planks and two more dark oak wood with the bottom of, or the top rather, of that cannon port. Spruce planks, upside down stairs, and we are going to attach another fence. As you can see, this just gets a little bit hectic as the accent decoration pieces are put on. You can always skip all of these, but it won't look nearly as good. So I'll actually fill in all of the dark oak first. So from here, so let's go all the way from the back. So it's 
three dark oak, one plank, two dark oak, one, two, three, four, five, six, not dark oak, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dark oak. Then coming back from here, one, two, three, four. Going in one, you go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more. And now we'll go back to here where we first transitioned into the dark oak to do our accent pieces. So fence, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate. I don't know if you see a pattern, but there is one. Fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, and fence. Gate, fence, you know, just a little bit of uh, alternating stuff here. And then we're stopping right before it transitions into more planks, of which there will be four. Second one from the end will have that flush trap door, and then we'll continue that dark oak fence. Diagonally in, spruce planks, dark oak wood. Coming off of that corner, we will have this fence that connects to the chain and lantern from before. From that angle, we have another dark oak wood and a two by two of planks. Two more with a light attached. An overhang of stripped dark oak going on to that corner there with two more planks coming back. Angle towards the front, two more planks andesite slab, and a 2 by 3 of planks that go on top of the andesite slabs from before. We will carry out the front of the ship with a full andesite block and some stairs on the sides, <clears throat> and the tip will be an andesite slab. Another slab back here two planks, strip dark oak wood, and two more planks. This angle, we have an overhang of a plank, or wood, and then planks. If I get any of these things wrong, I'm sorry. It's only slightly confusing saying the same blocks over and over again. It is fun though, because I know in the end somebody's going to build this. So from here, one, two, three, four. It might be a little crazy like to actually reconstruct this, but it'll be really cool. You can flex on people so hard. Uh, from this corner, we have one, two, back, and then one out, which will be an overhang. And then as we go back, we have trap doors and fence, planks, and then this is a long line of dark oak again. So from this corner, it's one, two, three, four planks. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dark oak. From here, one, two, three, four back to the front of the ship. One to the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 back. And now we can get on with our accent pieces. Going one back from the front of this line of dark oak, we'll start with the fence, fence gate alternating pattern. And it does continue around here. So it went from gate to fence to gate again. Maybe you could fill the balloon at the end with like an aviary. Fill it with all of the birds. Or you could make it a giant aquarium. That'd be interesting. Oak trap doors. There's a lot of different things you could do. You could make the whole ship an aquarium if you wanted to flood it. 
Just be careful with the uh, the trap doors on the bottom, so you don't have water pouring out of the bottom of the ship. Um, sorry, this was uh, stair one, two, three slabs or planks. Stair plank, two wood planks, and then three stripped wood. And moving in from there, we have two planks and two spruce wood. A two by two of planks, and we've completed the outer rim once again. And we'll work on this back room. So chains going up here. Which will eventually attach to the ceiling. Cover up the shroom lights on both sides. And again, we're still continuing this wall up towards the roof. So two spruce there, two dark oak here, one spruce on the overhang, one spruce there, spruce up, spruce up, stairs across, spruce, spruce with an overhang, two dark oak and two spruce. From here, we have an angle of one, and then planks all the way across the ship. From here, we have planks all the way across the ship, till we get to the middle where there's stairs. Then we go planks all the way across the ship again. And this will have two spruce slabs here. If you want, you can throw two more here or stairs. I guess I didn't realize to put them there, but just to make it a more angled slope going up the back. This part's not necessary if you don't have the uh, armor displays. So don't worry too much about those stairs. Um, this weird mass in the middle I'll get to last so I can explain it as well. <laughs> So for this corner here, we're putting on slabs, moving one in and one up for another slab. And then we are doing spruce planks all the way to the front of the ship. And at this crease here, we'll put a cobblestone wall. One, two forward, another cobblestone wall. Leaves in this corner, cobblestone wall. We're just putting these cobblestone walls to attach to the ceiling. Gilded Blackstone for showing off how wealthy you are. Continuing the fixtures to the top from this dark oak on this corner here. We can fill in all of those spruce planks. Cobblestone wall on these corners. This one is spruce planks. Spruce planks all the way back to this corner where the dark oak doubles up on itself. We're going to go angled one in is where you stop. Then angle one in more, and then angle two in from there. And then this can be a rectangle going up, so including this block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is also in line with the last of the alternating decorations. In case you're wondering. And then attached to this, we have stairs, which are going to go all the way up to this same line, in which we'll run into planks, and then three stairs across. Because this is going to be the outline of another pit of trapdoors. Seems to have accidentally attached one to something else. Oops. Um, on the bottom side of these, towards the back of the ship, is just going to be a C shape for slabs. You continue this plank on the corner. These are surrounded by stairs. This is a 3x4, by, by the way. Three across the width of the ship, four along the length of the ship. And from this curved stair back here, 
We are going to do planks to the side of the boat. And an L off of this corner with two slabs to make it more gentle slope up. And again, I forgot to do them on this side. So you can throw them in over there. I'll just have to update that schematic. And this one should then be a slab as well. So just small updates on the fly. This one, again, is going flush with that one. So just fill in this whole area to the side of the ship, which is again in line with this fence post. And off of this front part of the ship, from the stairs, we're going to make a 3x3 three three with a spruce log attached on top of that wall, filling in just these two planks and another block there. Leafs for decoration. And we'll get to this. This part, if you want more area on the deck of the ship, don't do this andesite part. Um, this andesite part just covers up the bottom of the shaft connecting the balloon to the rest of the build. And it has a lot of campfires in it that smoke comes through to make it look like that's where the steam is generated for the airship. If you don't want that look, it's kind of just like a gray dome that has steam coming through it. And if you don't want that, then you can just skip this into any of the, uh, the andesite dome. So coming back from this center, we have two block gap, slab, full block, full block that is then five across. Here we have a full block on the side, slab, and then two slabs on the left. So looking towards the back of the ship, we're going to go to the right. This is one full block diagonal, and then slab, two full blocks, and then three to make the L, slab, an L of three again, a block gap with one more, slab, full block, a two by two of full blocks, lining up with this, slab, andesite block, and slab, looking at it from this side, and in line with this, we can go the third one in, one, two, three, four, towards the back of the ship. Slab, one, two, three, towards the middle. Oh, that's a top slab. So slab, full block, full block, top slab. These are full blocks. This is a bottom slab. And this is from the center of the back. So just to reorient, we're in the middle of the back of the ship. So from this there, one, two, three, this one will have a dark oak door. On the left side, we have two full blocks. On the right side, we'll have four full blocks all the way to the back. Three full blocks across here. Two more full blocks. A slab. One, two, three full blocks. One full block to the right with adjacent slabs, three more full blocks and an L with adjacent slabs, a zigzag of full blocks, and then square that off and follow the zigzag back up on this side. We have adjacent slabs again, two more full blocks following the angle, two more angle one more with an adjacent slab. Coming around the top of the stairs, we have two full blocks with an upside down, or with a top slab. And on the inside, we have a slab. The left part of the stairs, we have slab, two full blocks, full block. And around here, we have snow blocks. 
So from the top of the stairs, this is the stair going one in, full snow block to the left, at an angle, snow block, angle back, two snow blocks, angle out, two snow blocks, angle back in, two snow blocks, and then two snow blocks to fill out this gap here. And that should be it for this layer. Again, if you don't want that, like, silver dome in the middle, then just don't do it. And you can have more space on top of the ship to do other things with. Going up again, we have a wall connecting this cage. So we're finally transitioning away from all of the fences that everybody loves so much. On top of this pillar, it's going to go up once more. Planks off the back and another fence. We have some panes connecting this back to the rest of the ship with some stripped dark oak in the middle making a little Tetris T-shape. Three planks off the left with one more dark oak wood. Three planks on the right with one dark oak wood. We're going to continue the spruce wood zigzag going up. So from this dark oak corner, we're going to make a L out of planks with a dark oak block there. I'm going to place one here so we can connect our spruce wood. One up on top of this pillar and one out more. So three here, one on top, one out. We have another overhang of dark oak with one more. And then two planks with a light fixture, two dark oak, three planks with a fence in the middle, one, two, three, four, five dark oak, with our alternating pattern starting one block in on the dark oak. And now we're starting a double wide of spruce wood. Whoops. So just a double wide for this whole length, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen to there. And then we can attach the outer layer. Let's just fix those. So the dark oak and then transition into 13 spruce logs. One towards the inside. If we include this one in our count, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And all the way back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I must have miscounted that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 from that corner to the end. And then 4 dark oak wood planks and another dark oak wood. Angle back in, dark oak and planks. On this dark oak wood we have a continuation of our pattern. Stopping here with a fence instead of a gate. On this corner we have another light fixture on this corner, we continue our light fixture. And going off of this, we have two more planks and a fence. And then planks, two wood, continuing this light fixture off of it. We have a fence at an angle here. Planks with an overhang. We have this chain and light which are going to be inconvenient to place, so I'm sorry about that. From this overhang we go back in, three more, back in for two, and then an angle in, and off of this we'll make this cross, which is four long, and has one arm on either side of the front. With, we'll start back here. So off of this corner, we have andesite stairs. 
here we have a full andesite block. This is an upside down andesite stairs. And these are all slabs. So three on this side, one off at an angle. This is a stair, that is a stair, and this is a full block. Coming across, this is the exact same thing. Full block, upside down stair, slab, 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 slab. Make this L here so we can place down our stairs. So we can make another L with the overhang and one back. Two strip dark oak on the side. Fence out on the corner and directly across. Another spruce back and we're adding another light fixture. Another L shape. Yet another fence. Dark oak and then we're going to angle out once more and attach another light fixture. From that corner we have one plank and then four spruce wood or dark oak wood. And starting on this we're going to go fence, fence, and alternate. Continuing from the base of this we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wood. So from here on the outside, attach one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we go from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, which we will connect one more on the outside, the whole length, back up to this corner juncture. From the back side, we will attach five dark oak wood. Fence, gate, fence, and gate. Planks, planks, planks. So we have three planks there with the fence in the middle. Two dark oak wood, two planks with a fence on the outside, and two more dark oak wood. One is an overhang. Planks, and then we connect the three spruce wood one vertical one and one horizontal one again. From this corner in here, we'll attach another dark oak wood and a spruce planks to complete that round. We can finish this L off as well for that two by two square. And now moving into this back area, we'll start on this corner here. So from where the slabs are, from where the dark oak is, go towards the back of the ship to in line with this fence, we're moving in one, and then we'll continue this line all the way towards the back of the ship. Coming from here again, we'll move two back, and we'll make a three by three square. This on the back side is two upside down stairs. This corner is a grindstone attached on the side. This corner is a chain. So from here, this corner, we can attach two slabs and we can attach three trap doors. Behind this, we can do a two by two of planks. From this, we can go three across with planks with three stairs facing the front of the ship and two upside down stairs on the back skipping this one middle gap. And we'll go back to this side. So from this corner here, starting from these logs, we'll go and fill out planks all the way until we line up with this fence or until we get to this slab. So from this corner, we can go back one, throw a stair down, do another three by three, which we can actually make a four by three. These back here are all upside down stairs. These two here are connecting 
flanks. This is a slab at the bottom to mirror the opposite side. And on the back, these are all stairs. We'll go to the front of the ship next. So from this dark oak corner here, we will come in with two spruce. Moving back one, we'll go all the way across. Moving forward one, we come across with two, skip one block, throw in one more. And then we can fill in the next three rows completely with planks. The next row will be plank, gap, three planks, trap door, three planks, and a gap. Next row will be four planks. And then we can do this two by three of trap doors. And the next row, again, is those four planks. Fill in all of the empty areas with planks on the next row. The next row is also the exact same way, where you can just fill it all in with planks. Coming off of these trap doors, looking down the length of the ship, we need two stairs. And this can be too wide or too deep rectangle that just fills across on both sides. So two here, and then just carry that on to the sides of the ship. From this corner, there's another two by three rectangle, actually two by four, sorry. Two by four with one stair in this corner, or one stair here, and then two by four. Coming up in line with these trap doors, we have a stair, and at an angle, we have another stair. For here, stair, angle, stair. An L of spruce planks, an L of spruce planks, and we have some white terracotta. And we have these trap doors on the outside, which will look like straps holding down the ropes to the ship. The balloon is made out of snow, and the ropes holding onto the balloon are made out of terracotta, just so they have a slight color difference. We can stack up all of the snow blocks in the middle. This part is going to get a little confusing because it's kind of just a blob of materials. But hopefully I can get you through it. From the back, following these trap doors, on either side of the stair we have two slabs. On the right side, we will go with two full blocks, followed by a slab and a slab and then a full block. So two slabs here, full block, top slab, top slab, full block. This one is a full block followed by two more full blocks. No, oh, this is just two slabs. So that's just a full block as well. These two are also full blocks. This angle is a slab. And then we have a small zigzag here of full blocks. From this angle, we have another full block. You can attach a campfire behind it. Then one, two, three full blocks attached to the campfire. One slab coming off there, and one slab coming off there. Full block towards the middle, two towards the front. And then an angle here, we can add two more. We of course have this andesite slab towards the front. And then across here we have one, two, three, four, five andesite with one slab in the direct center. And off of here we have a full block, a slab, a full block, and then a full block at an angle. 
After that, a slab and two more full blocks with slabs to connect it to the side of the ship. Then we'll do an L of full blocks, a T shape of full blocks, and throw in a campfire here to separate them. Next, we'll have more full blocks over here. This one is, oh, that one's just a full block made out of slabs. So that is a full block as well. So there's two by two of full blocks with one towards the front and one towards the back sticking out. Off of that corner, there is going to be another two by two, unless this is a stair. Oh, that's just a top slab. So an L here of full blocks slab there. So this is slab, slab, full block, slab, full block. And this will be slab, full block, full block. And off of this side, there's a slab again. Yeah, this part's the messiest and most confusing. Following an organic build block for block is really weird. Okay, so off of this back corner, we have full block, full block, full block, and then an angle. We have two slabs. And we have another slab and bottom slab towards the middle. Of course, you can leave this open if you want to be able to walk in here. I just blocked it so you won't be able to see any of the campfires. You can freely change it up however you desire, though. Next one up. Moving on to the back. We are going up with a stone brick wall again. Planks on top of planks. Wood on top of fence. And fence adjacent to wood. We're moving up here. We're almost done with the whole body of the ship. So we are going to continue this angle out the back here. And off the back of this in the middle we have a plank, two spruce wood, and then we're going to do two more black glass panes. It's times like this where I wonder why I make things so drastically huge. Two dark oak, one plank, two dark oak. Two more dark oak. Spruce wood on the corner. Um, one dark oak back, and then one here on the side, plus two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, eight, nine, and ten dark oak with our repeated pattern on the side. One, two, three, four, five. Wood there with five adjacent to it. And we have a row of spruce fence on the inside. Going all along this and turning at this corner. And then going two more. And then we have white terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Again, if we're doubling up on anything where you can't see the inside terracotta, feel free to break it out and just leave an empty hole there. I built this all in creative, so like efficiency wasn't the most important thing to me. We're just throwing some trap doors to encase the outside. Which again is like, yeah, it really doesn't need to be white terracotta everywhere, just the parts that end up visible in the end. So off of this, we have a two by three. And we have three more dark oak with our alternating pattern again. 
three more dark oak with the alternating pattern. As you can see, we have four dark oak now. Unexpected. Gate, fence, and gate. I am losing my mind. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. This is why I'm like, I didn't want to do voiceovers for things, because people will think I'm insane. Or rather, I just go insane while I do this. Because you know what? I'm not editing this part out, baby. This is the reward you get for sitting through, I don't know, what has it been? A couple hours, at least? Um, planks, upstair, um, top slab, and two more top slabs. The inner part is a fully indecite block. And then it is one, two, three, four spruce planks, making this a three by three section in the middle and two coming off the front. We're almost to the, the tip. This thing goes out quite a ways. Full andesite block, three top slabs, and an upwards facing stair. As you can see, it looks nice even if it's a pain. Cool boat. Plank at an angle, overhanging, dark oak. Three with the overhang. We have four. With the overhang, we have four again. And then we go three back and three back. And we'll start at the front. We added on another light fixture. And we just have our alternating pattern going towards the back of the ship. We got a 2x3 of the non-stripped wood and the similar pattern of white terracotta. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. There you go. Wasn't really counting that one. Uh, and trapdoors to cover up most of the sides. So again, that doesn't like really need to be <laughs> uh, white terracotta. It can be something else on the inside of these, at least. Two in from the side, and then spruce fences all the way back. So we get one away from the end of this row. And we go one, two, three, four, five spruce wood. Attach some off the back. For dark oak, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fence and gate and fence and gate and alternate and fence and gate. Off the back corner, dark oak, spruce wood, dark oak, dark oak, and then two, one, and two. Back to the center. Off of this back corner, we got another light fixture. This part I'll work on these spruce planks here next. So starting from here, going one up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Moving from this angle here, one, two, back. One, two, wait, those become stairs? Okay, just ignore that for now. Uh, moving in one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way across. So counting doesn't matter. Two planks there, planks to fill all the way on this side up to this point, which might honestly look better with one less or maybe a slab or stair. You can always change it if you want to. <clears throat> From in here, we have another two rows of full planks, which is always the nicest and most convenient thing. Because I can spam click those pretty fast. In this corner, we have two white terracotta with trap doors. And we have stairs going in towards the middle, not covering the center one, and curving away right before it gets there. Again, curving away and giving two white terracotta to the corners. 
and covering with trapdoors. This is a upside down stair facing the middle and then curving it towards the back and again curving it towards the front. So this is essentially the stairs here but upside down. If that helps at all. Facing the back and turning. And down in here we can finally put in our grindstones. Oh, it needs to be facing from this direction. Whatever. <laughs> It's a little too specific. But yes, those are just the chains that go up and down. I'm just going to connect this one as well. It's got to be on this side. I just go up and down from the ceiling. Make this very armory looking. I would put more like gray blocks in here, except it would interfere with the side of the ship, so it would either make this room really tiny or it would make the outside of the ship gray, which I did not want to do. Now on to the front of the ship. From above the gilded blackstone area, we have spruce planks going back uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then three more here with a snow block. Three more here with a snow block. And two with a snow block and two. And then we do slabs on basically all of these inner corners. This one gets a zigzag up to the fronter, up to the front. <laughs> Skip one air block to zigzag on the way back. Uh, skip one there, two, one. And then we fill in with planks. You'd think after saying these things so many times, I wouldn't forget what they were, but I think it's actually making, making it a lot harder. Two by three, one by three. Just because the information just becomes incredibly nonsensical to my brain. It's like, you just said this like a million times. It doesn't mean anything at all. That's just my guess. N a neuroscientist, I am not. Uh, from this center, full block with slabs on either side. We're going for a zigzag off of that slab towards the back on the left. One diagonal block there. Two, three in. Then we'll go two campfires adjacent to that. In the middle of this, one campfire there. Towards this side of the ship, from where this curls up, we are going to throw a slab with a full block and two more adjacent slabs. Behind this, we'll have another row of four full blocks, an andesite slab. Off here, it's going to zigzag towards the middle, and then end in a slab there, which means there's something I put down here that I shouldn't have. There we go. Um, a trap door to cover up the fireplace. Andesite full block. Slab, full block, slab, full block. Campfire on the side. From the front, we're going to skip this part. Go back one and do full block, full block. So that way we can attach a slab between and bottom slabs on the back side of the ship attached to these blocks. Now we can follow in with full blocks in this pattern. One, two, three, four. Skip the middle two. One, two, three, four, and five. This is a slab here, and this is a full block above the door because it needs to sit flush on top. On this side here we have a full block and a slab with a full block and a campfire next to it. Slab here, full block. Trap door amazingly is in the right direction. That's honestly shocking. Um, three I'm just <laughs> Three andesite full blocks and two campfires. Their orientation does not matter. Three more, cut an angle, and we have the zigzag back to this slab in the front. Don't forget 
that fireplace. In line with this, we have a two by three area over here again. And all of these go up by one snow block. And in this gap, we'll throw in one more. Boat is coming along. And the next area is going to get, oh, it's going to get even wider. But it's almost entirely hollow, so it should go kind of fast. Kind of fast is, I guess, the best way I can put it. <laughs> Putting the strip log on top. Uh, one error gap spaced fences here. It's a light fixture on the bottom. Planks, wood, two glass, wood, wood, and wood again. We'll carry up the spruce wood on these once more. On all of them, they just keep angling out. This one's gone up instead of angling out for the first time. So based on this one, on the middle back, we will attach some more spruce wood with one vertical bit. And on this side, we will attach one, two, three, four, five dark oak. Um, this is six long. I don't feel like properly orienting these vertically because these ones would be above an air gap normally. So you just put something underneath. So those ones I don't particularly care. You can fix them if it bothers you. It'll be the same thing on the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Get rid of those. So six, six, five in the back. Coming off of this side, we have one, two. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Attach those blocks on the outer side. Fences until they connect with the other fences. Going all the way back over here on top of the terracotta, we got more trapdoors. A 2 by 3. Trapdoor on the middle on this side. Three more trapdoors. A slab, that's a nice change of pace. Two spruce fence on the inside here. One, two, three, four. Logs, or wood, and then four on the outside. And we'll cut in an angle for two. Two more on the outside. Cut in an angle for three. Three more on the outside. Cut in an angle for three, three more on the outside, go back in one, two more, and then two on the outside. From here, we're gonna cut in with strip dark oak wood for three in one, which means, yep. Okay, we'll just attach that there. So three, one, planks in the middle, and planks all the way out the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after that, we'll switch to one, two, three, four stripped spruce or dark oak. And just some adjacent ones on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Full andesite, upside down stairs. We have our gate in this corner, fence with a light fixture. Alternating pattern some more. It's one with a light. On the opposite side, we have the same amount of dark oak. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Full block, stair, and alternating pattern. From here going back, we have dark oak wood. 
and then one, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do two on the outside. Don't forget this fence gate and fence. We're going spruce wood towards the back of the boat. One, two, three, with three on the outside. Three towards the back, with three on the outside. Two towards the back, two on the outside. Four towards the back, with four on the outside. Then we transition into two fence. And as on the opposite side, we're throwing in a lot of trap doors. And a small two by three white terracotta with a trap door on the outside. Towards the front of the ship, where this starts to go up and over, we have one, two, three, four, five. And we'll connect spruce wood from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll connect, uh, okay, 11, sorry. And then we'll connect these logs on the outside. From here, we're going in one and back one. And on this inner angle, we can throw in another set of white terracotta. This one, two by four. Yeah, this one, I mean, clearly it doesn't need to be terracotta if we're just covering it with trapdoors. Could literally just be empty and have trapdoors. So angles from the back, one, two, three, with a stair. Slabs around the base of this point. One, two, three, four. Stairs from here, one, two, three, and four. Spruce planks on the outside, two by four white terracotta. Trap doors. I don't know if you want me to, if you ever want to watch me build something and be a little less crazy, you could always <laughs> follow me on Twitch. You know, never, never stop selling. Always be selling. I guess that's what it is. No, I stream on Twitch multiple times a week, building things playing Bed Wars, doing other stuff. And it's a little less insane than this. So this right here is pretty symmetric. Hopefully you can follow along on that. Those are just full blocks and slabs. And off of this one, we're going to make a C towards the middle. We'll see shape there. This campfire's on the inside. I guess we'll also do that. Snow blocks, one above the doorway entrance, and just tower up on each of these. This one adds one to the middle. This one adds one on top of that, and this one goes up. Okay, then on this side, we're continuing with one, two, three, four full andesite blocks in quarter, including part of the sea cover up those campfires connect one here connect a block to the side of it connect a block to the side of the trap door one two three four in a little s shape half slab there then we're going three full blocks across the back with of course these campfires on the inner side A symmetric S shape over here. One angling towards the middle. Campfire, full block, trap door, andesite slab, full blocks for three more. Two trap doors, one full slab, and finishing off this C shape here with the campfires. That's gonna be a little hectic to look at for a while. So we're gonna go back to the very front of the boat. So from here, where we have the dark oak bowl shape, we're just gonna fill this in with spruce planks and go out one more of all spruce planks. Then the middle one has to be spruce stairs with two planks on each side, down one here, down one and over here 
two more stairs, snow blocks with slabs and snow blocks. So that's two, two, one, one, two, one. And on this side, do a spruce plank, two snow blocks at an angle, two slabs, air block, snow, two snow, one snow. And I guess to not forget these, spruce fences on top of that. And from here, a spruce fence with a light on it, which I suppose I missed before. On to the next one. Log on top of the stripped log here. One log facing back. Trap doors on the sides. And this will just go straight to the middle of the ship. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So at least from here to the back or from there to here, it's 14 logs long. But on top of these two, we're going to throw a slab and a vertical spruce wood. And on the left side, we go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, these are all supposed to be vertical. One, two, three, four, five. But that doesn't matter. And a zigzag. So this is from here. One, two, three, four, five back. And one over. And then a log. These are all slabs, by the way. There might be a stair in there, but it's not that important. These are being placed on top of this, which is why I can just look down and place them. Same thing over here, which is what that angled bit was for. And on this corner, it's just the continuation of those going up. We have slabs going along in here, so we can throw in slabs everywhere. One thing we want to do is have a full block on top of this fence and a full block on top of the fence on the other side. But besides that, it's going to be slabs all the way across. So coming from here, one, two, three, four, five is where this will stop. And it'll go two over and all the way up the ship, or all the way up to this back line here. Whereas the next one starts one, two, three, fourth from the back. And that goes all the way up. This one goes one over, and these two go all the way up. And then one over, and these two go all the way up. Once we move two this way, two here, all the way up. And then one more at an angle there. And this goes all the way to the other wood on the back. Till we get to this corner where it's three planks. So same thing on the left. Hopefully I can describe this one better. Two here, and then we'll go one, two. OK, so this is four. One, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then planks, planks. And this one is also planks. No, it is not. That is also a slab. I gotta connect this zigzag here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All of this can be filled in with slabs then. Just to make a floor for another room on the ship. That means this one has, yeah, the fence underneath. 
Just make sure that fence is fully connected, otherwise it'll look slightly odd floating there. Full block there for another light source. And this has dark oak planks on the side. Oh, so, so far I have missed this lantern. Have I missed any others? I hope not. No, okay, that's it. So again, with the white terracotta connections on the back, this is a three by five with two offshoots and a lot of trapdoors. Skipping one there for the fence connection and trapdoors all the way around the outside. Spruce slab here, and then we have three stairs. Slab, slab, slab. Stairs, stair, stair, slab. And another three by five of white terracotta with the two spots jutting out. Trap doors on all of these sides. when you accidentally double tap the spacebar. Okay, then from this we're going with another inner layer fence stopping when it connects. Moving on towards the front, we got white terracotta starting to come off in ropes and the last strap of trap doors. On this connecting corner, we'll do some fence until we get here. Skip a block. Two more in. Two snow blocks. A snow block at an angle. Continuation of the fence a bit more. And a snow block at an angle again. Did I place. Oh. So from here, this corner. That's where the dark oak is, so we're coming back to. This corner will have more logs and a little L, and then one, two, one, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, sorry. Do these two, angle in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then those blocks off the side. The front one, one attached off the side, one, two to get to the uh, tip, and then one, two, three, four, five, six past it. And this is the furthest out front part of the ship. And then from back here again, we're coming one out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On these eight, we're just attaching blocks to the outside. Here we're going three and attaching blocks to these two. This one we're attaching a block to. This one we're doing vertical blocks in this zigzag here. Moving towards the inside, we're just throwing slabs against the edges of all of this and filling in this whole point towards the front. Moving on to the left, we have four fences in an L with a snow block in this corner, two snow blocks at the end of this fence, two fence here, and then cut an angle and fence until it connects to the other fences. This cluster of rope is now having some terracotta come off of it. We have a fence here all the way to the back. And we can move on to finishing this 
gray dome shape. So we'll stack up on all of the snow. And from the back of the ship, we have andesite with slabs on the sides, trapdoors on the side of the snow blocks, two full blocks on the side of those, with slabs adjacent, trapdoors, trapdoors, two slabs, full block, slab, trapdoor, full block, full block, trapdoor, full block, trapdoor, from the front of the ship looking towards the back, it's trapdoor, full block, trapdoor, full block, half slab, we have two campfires in the back here, two campfires in the back there, two full blocks attached to those, Another trapdoor, slab, full block, two slabs. And we're slowly moving up. <laughs> we should be getting to the part where it starts going faster because there won't be as much of an area to ring around. Dark oak trapdoor to finish off this strap. Spruce fence, and we're just going to kind of alternate with spruce wood going around. So it'll be three, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wood, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And coming two back from there, or three back, full block, chain next to it, and then we're following wood along this corner until we can have a three wide gap in the middle that we have fence on either side of, wood on the opposite side, and chains adjacent to that wood. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, four, five, full block, chain, and just fence following all the way to this corner. Where it switches to wood and back to fence. And then wood and back to fence. And then we have the fancy tables. And the tables are all upside down stairs. So as soon as you put in one, should work out fine because you just have to keep angling these around. This chair and the other chair are both just stairs. Oops, with signs on the side and spruce trapdoors on the back, and it'll go up like that. Just so it gets a little bit higher of a backrest. And if you want a little bit of a headrest, you can throw in yet another sign. And these are very simple, just six block tables. And that's the back extra room, which will just have like a little canopy. Moving towards this terracotta, on either side of the fence we have trapdoors. Then we have this I shape, or an H shape if you turn your head, and then two more. More trapdoors, meaning most of the terracotta doesn't need to be terracotta. Same thing again over here. H shape, and then putting those two in. Trapdoors just kind of covering a lot of the exposed bits, though not entirely necessary. Snow blocks around here. So from the back, one in, two on the side, then a line of four, one out, 
line of two, and then one in the front. So we can also throw in andesite and a half slab. And two trap doors on this side, two trap doors on the other side, two snow, and then a line of four snow with one block over here. We do have a slab in this corner and a slab off of this end, a slab on this peak, and a slab in this corner. Those last couple slabs probably don't need to be there. We're carrying up all of the little pillars of terracotta here. The snow from this outer point is going to go up, overhang one, in a line of three, and then an angle, and then we'll have the fence start and just follow in till we get from this corner one, two, three, four, gap, one, double gap, one, skip over, one, double gap, one, single gap, and then a line of four, and carrying this down till we get to here, one short of it connecting to the area one lower. Then we'll have three snow blocks, an angle, and another snow block. And carrying on to the terracotta, each of these goes up in height by one. And that is it for that row. Now we just need to increase the height of all of the spruce wood around here. Let's do that quickly. Okay, on these corners here, we'll have some chains. On the inner part of these two, we'll have fences. Continuing the fences on the inner part of the entrance. Chains, those fences again. Chains on the outside blocks. Here are just some small table decorations. Just some potted plants and item frames. Oh, this one I guess didn't have a backrest. It looks better with one in my opinion. So we're just gonna have it be there. Moving on to the terracotta on the left. From the shape we made earlier, these two are gonna go up and these two are going to go up. On the right side, it'll be these two and these two. From the inside part, increase the height of these outer snow blocks. And on this section, we're going to have an overhang. On the middle back, we'll add an overhang. On the right side, we're just going to increase these blocks in height until we get to here. There's an overhang, and then we finally increase those in height. There's a terracotta from the front. These two on the inner back side are going to go up in height. This one is going to go up and back one for an angle. The snow at the front is going to go up and towards the front, up and towards the front. Over here, off, we're going up and towards the front, up and towards the front on that one. It's a pretty cool ravine over there. <laughs> this one, up and towards the back, these two up. Symmetry is great. And now we're going up again. Two chains on top of these two, otherwise increase in height of all the spruce wood. Um, next, you can increase the height of all of the chains.
Then on the inner part of these remaining posts, we're going to throw some fences. If you want to do this building on the back in any different way, you absolutely can. And I would highly encourage you to. We're going to increase these in height, and this one's going to come off at an angle towards the front. And on this side, same thing but mirrored. These two go up in height, and this one's coming off at an angle towards the front. All of these snow blocks increase in height. these increase in height, this one continues angling towards the back. From this back corner, we're going to go up one, forward and over, and this one is going to overhang by two, then in two more, make a line of three, in one, and then a horizontal line of three across the front. We'll do the same thing on the back here-ish, where it's not exactly the same, but from this block, we'll go in one, forward and out one for a line of three. In the middle, go back towards the middle of the boat and start another line of three, then in one, and then a horizontal line of three in the front. We then also have this one going up by one, this one going up by one, and this one angling back by one still. Once again, these two chains are increasing. All of the spruce wood is increasing in height. Okay, increase the height of all of the chains on the outside once more. And then we will do a fence, gate, fence, archway across the back. The inner part is just going to zigzag fences to connect to the other pillar. Two, two, three, one. Another gate archway. To connect this up, we need this weird angle. And then two gates for the arch. Gate for the arch over the entrance. Single gate for the arch on this side. Just to make it a little asymmetric. Fence here. Here we go in double gates. Fence there and Two fence, two, two, and two to make the zigzag towards the back. Okay, for this rope over here, this one's going up at an angle towards the middle. This one's increasing in height. This one is going up towards the front. Similar thing here, this one's going towards the middle. This one's going towards the front, and this one is going up. For the snow, these two are increasing in height. This one's changing to an overhang. This one's going up. This one is an overhang and continues increasing these by two. This one's back, and then an overhang, and then these two both increase in height. These two increase in height and get an overhang between them. These two increase in height, they get an overhang on the side and that one increases in height. This one goes up, this one goes up from this corner here, and this one is angling in. 
This one's going up. This one's going up from the outer corner here. And this one's then going in. From this back part of the snow, we'll go forward one and two out. This can make a line of one, two, three, four, five towards the front. Have an air gap here and add one. This is a line of three here. This makes a line of four across. This makes a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across with one in on either side. This going back to a line of four across. Four. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, with one jutting out there. So this sail, if you don't like the shape of it, you can always change it, or if you want a different design. Sails are something that I struggle with a lot for boats. So definitely don't take it as the best way to do this. Just as one of many ways, and you can always change it up yourself. So we have stairs here with, or, or sorry, planks on top of these two things and stairs on the sides. I use a lot of stairs because they look nice, but for telling other people exactly what to do, it's kind of the worst thing ever. Because the orientation is just, there's so many ways it could, it could happen. Stairs, so two planks there, two planks there, plank in those corners, otherwise it's stairs. So again, it'll be a plank there, upside down stairs, plank, 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 stairs, plank, slab, well, that's interesting, um, plank on the corner, stairs there, stairs there, two planks, plank, slab, stairs, Oh, this spruce wood increases by one on the front door entrance. Planks across the front, stairs across the back. Um, yeah, we'll continue from here. Stair, plank, slab, stairs, plank, stairs. Planks, stairs, hmm. oh, plank, plank, and two stairs, stair here, plank on top of the wood post, stairs, plank, 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 and stairs around here. Honestly, those could all be planks and it would look out. It would look perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, before the back, we have some angled stairs. Facing towards the back, it's just a layer of stairs on the outside. You don't have to curve them the same way. It just shows a little bit more of the rest of the roof through which is why I like doing that. It is also an absolute pain. So don't be afraid to just not do that. Okay, one on the front, one on the side, one on the side, one, two, three, four, upside down one there. So you just stairs all along the front. The angles are the only thing that changes them to make them interesting. And this is kind of the gist of why I don't make a lot of TikToks or a lot of YouTube videos because it just takes me a long time to make the tutorials. 
and I want to make the tutorials in case somebody wants to make this build. So these two are increasing in height. This one is angling off towards the front. Same thing here. Up, up, and towards the front. For the snow, this one's going up. Up and over, up and over. This is four across. A little L. This one's going up. This is a zigzag. And this is four across with the overhang. And this is an L with an overhang. That shouldn't be in the final design, so just ignore that. Terracotta, this one's angled towards the back. These two are both going up. These two are both going up, and the outer one is angled towards the back. The sail in the front. Again, if you have a better shape, do that instead, because this one isn't great. But from the back, it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And coming in for a line of three again, and then a two by two. Cut at an angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across the front. Coming off of this point and up, there's two air gap one. Going towards the back of the ship again, off of this point here. Come up with an L. This is a line of four on the side. This is a three or two by four. And from the outside, we have one more here. Going up. So we add slabs on the outer bits. This is just to give the roof a little more texture. It's more complicated than a roof needs to be most of the time. But if we're adding detail to the rest of the ship, we can't necessarily forget to do that at this point. Otherwise, it'll make it look weird. So that's off this point here. Slab, stair, full block, stair, stair. All oh, those are stairs as well. Oh my goodness, why do I do that? Okay, stair attached to that upside down stair. Planks, stairs, then planks off of this one. Making this one a stair. Stair, stair, curve it around. And then these are gonna do kind of the same thing, but upside down. Oh, I put the wrong fence there. That's weird. That that part's not crucial at all. You can put whatever fence you want. Okay, from the back, it's a slab, and then a row of three slabs, and then a stair block, and two more of those planks. We have upside down stairs. Upside down stairs there. Stairs on this. We got a slab. Oh crap. Slab and stairs. Slab and or er, planks, planks. I don't like when it comes to voiceovers, like I don't know a good way to explain how haphazard all of this is. Like, it's all meaningfully done, but it's not in, like, a nice pattern. That's a length of four. Um, for me to, like, explain it. And it would take a little bit for me to explain how I make roofs. Which could just be a different video. Maybe people want to know how I make roofs. Or roofs. Every time I think about that word, it messes me up for a little bit. Because I always start feeling like I say it wrong. Stair block up the middle. Plank, plank, 
plank, plank, and stairs there. And these are going to be upside down ones, yeah, with curves on either side. Which means if you take the time to look up from the bottom, you'll think, oh wow, that looks kind of nice. And since most people don't do that, it's it's just a lot of energy for mostly nothing. So all of these are increasing in height by one. Same thing over here. Boom. Snow blocks are going up by one everywhere. Yep, no overhangs that are new, just everything's going up by one. Over here, the ones to the front right are both going up, whereas the back left one is angling. And the same, but mirrored on this side. So coming here from this corner point, diagonally in one, go forward two. Then angle out for a line of four. This one's sticking out. This will come across this front as a line of four. This will come across the front as a line of four. Angle out for this one, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks wide. Then we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One and two. Again, if there's any way I can make this commentary better, just let me know. I just want it. I just want to be helpful, which is the only reason I'm doing it. Okay. So on here, stairs, slab, slab. Maybe coming from the back will be a little more helpful. From this slab, we have stairs, and we have stairs. We'll slab there. Same thing going to happen on this side. Kind of. Planks there. Oh, stairs. Planks, planks. Which this one has a light attached to it. That one has an oak fence there. I believe these are all planks. No, I was thwarted again. That is a stair block. Slabs, planks, slabs, and planks again. Stairs. My mind is just like, it's lagging really hard from all of this. That one goes off of this, which is one, two, three, four, five. There's a slab there. Stairs, I don't know. It's awesome because while I'm doing this, I'm almost at 10k YouTube subs, which means I will probably get to 10k after I post this. Because normally there's like 25, 50 people that sub after I post a video on TikTok and YouTube. All of those are angling towards the front, by the way. That one's strictly towards the front. Well, that one's towards the inside. This one's both in and forward. But yeah, then I can make myself like a cardboard play button as a reward or a Minecraft play button. Just make one in Minecraft. That'd be fine. All of these are increasing in height. On the front side, we are getting an overhang on all three of those. And the rest of these just increase in height. Boom. The two on the inside just go up. The outside one is angling back. Two inside ones. Two inside ones go up. That one's angling back. From this corner, we can go one, two, three, and in one. And then from here, we're going to make an angle, a line of three. 
This will be a line of two, and then a line of three looking from this way, a line of four, one block here, skip a block, line of three. One block back, and then a line of four. And then angle it in, one, two, three, and one coming out for four. One, two, three, two here, and then an angle here. I like how fast this part's going. It's making it a lot less stressful. <laughs> the boat bottom part took just so long. <coughs> huh. Didn't mean to sneeze. But I can guarantee you that I am not going to cut that out. There's no way I'm going to find that in this length of video. So from the back, it's slab, stair, slab on either side, and then just opposite stairs, five across. These are all increasing in height by one. And these are all increasing in height by one. If we go forwards, the two not towards the center are increasing in height by one. This one's moving one back. Same thing here. This snow in the front is off of this corner. One, two, with an overhang. And that overhang continues to here for a length of three. And then this one's a length of two. And then a length of four coming off of the front. And then moving back for two. Coming back out for two more. And then a line of three with an overhang in the middle. And then this 3x3L three three again. I need to not forget the snow in the middle. Snow and then an overhang on either side. This is looking from the back towards the front. These increase in height till we get to here where we get another overhang. And then an angle of just increasing in height to the front. Same back here with one overhang along that line. These all increase in height. And that's all for this section. And then we can start going up again. And thankfully I don't have to build anything on this back part of the roof because that sucked. This one goes up by one. These two both go towards the front by one means it's going to be the same here. Okay, all of these are going up by one. Are there any new overhangs? Yes. Along this very straight line in the front, there's one new overhang. But not on the back side, so just here. Um, this outside one is moving oops, one towards the back. This one's going up in height. This one is doing the nice angle. And same but mirrored on this side. Up one towards the back, angle towards the middle. Moving from our corner from last time. We're moving up and in for one, two, and then two and then two, and then skip a block for two, with one attached to the back. Skip a block for two again, then a line of three, then a line of four, then moving back we got a line of two, and a line of four, and then one, and then one at an angle. I really hope this makes for a nice time lapse because that's the what I want to get out of it the most. One angle towards the middle, uh, one up on both of those. So same thing here, towards the middle, and then up, up. The snow is three up normal on here, 
two at an angle and then a new overhang. One up on this point and then a new overhang towards the back. One up and a new overhang towards the front. This small L with then a new overhang. This line goes back three from the front and gets an overhang for this L. This one goes up by one and gets a new overhang towards the back. And this is a new overhang here for this L on this back right side. This one gets to go up. This one is angled towards the middle. This one gets to go up. So again, these two go up and this one angles towards the middle again. These will be kind of like one of the most annoying things to build. At least I think so. I'm flying, so none of it's complicated. Um, one up from this corner and then a line of four looking from the front then a line of two angle for a line of one two three four five six on the third one one bumps out then two bump out one angle back then a line of three with a line of three almost directly behind it and two on an angle going towards the back Going up again, this is increasing in height by a 1 towards the middle, or not towards the middle, these all just go up by 1. So on the back side, these all go up by 1 as well. These are all increasing in height, this L is increasing in height, this is increasing in height here with one new overhang. These are all going up by 1, and they get a new overhang. These are all going up by 1. These are going up by one, and there's a new overhang between them. These two are going up by one, and new overhang towards the front of the ship, and this L is going up. Okay, all of these are increasing in height. Okay, from this point from before, we have a line of three. And this becomes a line of three looking from the front. A line of three again. And an angle, we have another line of three. Push back for one. Then a line of two. Then one bumped out. One angled back. One angled back. And one more angled back for a line of four. One pulled out towards the front. And then a line of two towards the back with one angled out. I know I'm ignoring all of those hanging lights. Uh, I'm just going to ignore them for a little while. <laughs> These two in the back go up one, whereas this one goes towards the front. This one goes towards the front. This one goes up. And this one goes nicely angled outwards. This one goes towards the outside. The front one goes towards the inside. And this one goes up towards the back, towards the back, and towards the back. They're all angling together. So from the back, these three go up again. New overhang on the left. These next three go up. This one's an overhang outwards. That one goes up. New overhang. These three in the small L go up. New overhang. These two go up and then get a new overhang. This one's going up. This one's going up. These three are going up. And this L in the back is going up as well. Then on to the front. From this corner we go up and this makes a line of three. From here it's a line of three across. And then there's another line of three a line of two, one pushed back, then a line of three, line of two, and a line of four, 
And from the third one to the right, we'll take two towards the back. Increasing the build in height again. Starting from the back left, this is going to angle in to the middle. This one's going to go to the middle, and this one's going to go up. On the right side, this one's going to go up, this one's going to go towards the front, and this one's going to go up. Moving up here, the ones not in the back left are increasing in height. This one's going to the middle. These are all increasing in height. Ooh, now we're starting to get somewhere. So, these four are all increasing in height, with the middlemost one having an overhang. On the right side, we're getting another overhang, so this is a width of five. This is moving in, where all three of those in the L are increasing in height. We have an overhang on the left here, so that way the other three increase in height, and we have one overhang. This is a small L with the corners and overhang. This is one, two, three, four, five. Fifth one on the right. Looking from the front to the left side of the ship. That's the overhang. And this is the center block. One to the right is coming out. This one's increasing in height. On this side, it looks like they're just going to go up. Um, on the left side here, we have a new overhang. And we have another one adjacent to it. And we make this small L. This one coming out is one, two, three, four, five from this corner. So diagonal two and then one. From here, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. And on to the front. One, two. Coming in, one, two. This will make a line of four. Moving back one, this will be sticking out. Over here, these two will be overhangs. Then we'll get a line of three. One sticking out, line of two. Moving back one, a line of four, with the second from the left sticking out. And we have two more on the leftmost side. OK, going up from here, we can increase this in height. Um, all of these ropes are going up by one. All of these ropes are going up by one. All of these are going up by one. Um, these two are going up, but this front one is coming back. So this block over here is going up by one. This one's going up by one, and towards the back it has an overhang. But to this direction, we get one more. From here, we're going one, two, three, four. OK, from the back here, from the middle one, this is going up. There's no overhangs on this back side. But there is one in this L corner to the left. These two are going up, and there's one overhang to the front. Then this one goes up, there's an overhang to the front. All of these go up across. We get a new overhang on the left side of that. The one in the front goes up, and one to the left, which is in the middle, is a new overhang. We have an L on this side. New overhang here, which makes this a row of one, two, three, four, five, an L back here, 
and we can fill this in with glass. You can choose whatever color glass you want. I just like the white glass because, well, it goes with everything else. I feel like that's supposed to be covered in glass. But you know what? That might be covered up by the next layer. That might be why. And on to the front. The sail off this corner goes up one, and then out to a line of three, out to a line of three, out to a line of three, back one. This one is a line of four, then a line of three, and then a line of two, and this will make it three along the side. And up we go, and we're starting to make the sphere for the balloon. So, this one's going up, this one's going up, this one's angling towards the outside, from here, towards the front of the ship. The third block will be left there. This one is going up by one. These snow blocks here are both going up, and we're moving one towards the front of the ship. This one's going up, this one's going up, and we're connecting this curve around here. From here, we're making an angle and taking two towards the middle. These ropes, this one is going back and to the left. This one's going up, and this one's just going to the right. These ropes on the right, this one's going up, and this one's going to the middle. This one's going towards the back. Let's move back here. This back left one is going towards the middle. This is going four to the left of it. We'll leave that one. This one's increasing in height. <clears throat> this one is moving out and to the right. This one is moving two, three towards the front, one towards the middle. And then three towards the front, and then two towards the front. From here, this is increasing by one. Then we have a block adjacent to it for a line of three. And then behind it, in the center, we have one and then two to the right and three to the left. And we have this zigzag, one, two, three, and four. We can go over two and out two. And then we can go over two more and then back make another line of two and then at this angle we'll make a line of one two three four five six seven coming off the front we have a line of four which is an overhang that's new on the left and right side then this line of two this ultimately becomes a line of one two three four four five six seven eight this one gets put there one, one, two, three, four, five, with two coming off on the right side. This is going up by two. There's a line of three here, making an angle with that. Then coming at an angle again, one, two, three, four, five, the middle one sticking out. Angle again, one, two, three, and moving back one, two, three, angle one, two, three, and then two, coming off the back. Once again, flying around. This one is coming off at an angle towards the back. This one's going up by one. This one's going up and angling from that, back one, two to the middle. Three to the outside. This one's going up in height. This one's going up in height. This one's up to the outside. Um, oh, I should probably just do the snow layer first. Well, I'll get these ropes. This one's going up. This one's going up. This one's going up to the middle. 
This one is three towards the middle and one towards the front. This one's going up. This one's up to the middle. That's three to the right. One, two, one, two, three. This one's going up. These are all increasing in height. One, two, three, four. It's four away from this one. This one's going up. This one is splitting in two. And that one's going up. Okay, now we start to get to like the sphere of the inside. So starting from, let's say this, this corner towards the front of the ship. Off this corner, we have one. Coming out, one, two, three, four, five. At an angle, one, two, three, four. At an angle, one, two, three, four. And then it continues for three, four, four, three. This is four with the angle coming back. This is one, two, three, four, five. With the angle coming back, this is a line of five. Two in from the outside, this will be two by two. From here, we'll go out three. From here, one, two, three, four. Three across. Fill that in. Then another three by three square attached to that, one, two, three. In the middle of that, one sticking out. From this corner, or from here, we'll attach one more there. Diagonally back, if I just don't misplace it. One, and then one, two, three, four in this line. One here, and then one, two, three, four, five. So two by two, and then one there. From this corner, one, two, three, four. From here, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then five. And four. And five. And six. White terracotta off this one, off this angle, there's another one. Here we have to leave a gap for light to get through. So one, two, three, four off of this corner. One, two, three, four. And then angle that one in. One, two, three, four. Then we have a two by two attached to that corner. And then from here towards the front of the ship. One, two, three. And then we have three rows of four. And I'm ignoring these lights because they don't really matter at all exactly where you put them. They're just hanging lights for extra decoration. So you can throw on extra hanging lights at the end, wherever it's dark. Up more one on this corner, and then in two. And then two again, and then a line of five. Out one, back two, back two, back three, and back one. Okay, this outermost rope is going up by one. Center one is up and to the left, and this one's up and to the right. This rope here is going up one. This blob is going up one. This one is going up one. There's a snow block on top of that blob with two more coming off to the side. And I think I should just do the snow layer. Okay, so over this weird gap, we have white stained glass and then two snow coming off. 
do a little two by three. And then one on the side. And then a two by two. And then a two by two here. Glass coming off of that. A line of three snow, and then a line of three snow with a white stained glass. And off of this rope, it's going up one. This inner rope is going up one. This outer part is coming out at an angle. This is coming off by three. This one's breaking off by one on each side. From here, you go in one, two, three. One, two, three, four, glass. From this angle, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Coming in two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. White terracotta off this corner. Moving in one from the corner, two off, two over, one at an angle. This one is increasing in height by one. This one is increasing in height by one. This one is moving towards the back two. This one's going up one. This one's going up one. This one's going up one. That one is two back from there. This one is up and one towards the back. This one is up and two towards the front. Up and to the side and front of the ship. And I'll go back here where there's the weird gap. You gotta put glass. Snow blocks, four along here, then three, then three, and there's a glass over the gap. One, two, three here. This can be glass since I didn't put the wood there. One, two, one, two, three. Glass here. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So this is coming off of this corner. We have one glass over this hole. And then coming back two, angling one towards the middle. We have one terracotta. Make this a line of three, and then add a two by two square. And then a two by two square. And then a two by two square. Now that I think about it, I think this is going to be the hardest part to follow. Two by two square. It is just like a 23 radius uh, sphere. So keep that in mind if you're struggling at all. We have a line of three there. Absolutely just feel free to pause it and then like point at the screen and count all of the blocks because that's probably what I would do this is just going to be confusing no matter what especially since it's just so white to the front. Should be a bit easier once it starts curving up and is only one thick. One there, and then one and one towards the front. Line of two. Angle. Line of three. Angle. Angle. Line of two. Line of three. One back. An L. One back. Oh, and I suppose we should not forget this. Which, let's see. 
coming off of here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 up. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 to the side. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I believe that's the bottom of the windmill on the back. We're going up again. Yes, so I could just stay back here for a moment and start making the windmill. You can always download the world and follow along if that is a more conducive way for you to follow along the this part. I mean, you could always skip the balloon and just make a cool boat. Three, one, one, two, two by two, one, two by two, one, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, which is a two by two. One, two, three, four. And one, two, one, two by two. One, oops. One, and then a two by two. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two by two. One, two, three, one, two, three, which is a two by two again. One, and then a two by two. One, and then a line of three. One, two, three, four, five, and then a two by two. Coming back, the third one. And one, and a two by two. One, one, and a two by two. One and a two by two. One, 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 two, three. Okay, off the back. This rope's going up by one. This one's coming off at an angle. Uh, this one's coming off here and here. We have an L off this corner. One, and one there. These two. This one, the commentary has disappeared because I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think in the future I should just make smaller builds. I don't know how much uh, traction like a five hour tutorial is going to have. <laughs> Enough where hopefully one person builds it. That would be amazing. Three, one, two, three, one, two, with a gap. One, two, one, two, three. Because this is so many thousands of blocks. <laughs> so from this corner, we're going back in one line of three, make this a little two by two, one towards the middle. I think after this I'm going to eat some samosas and rice. Not mimosas, because mimosas are a drink. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, I feel like any problem you have in the build should hopefully be able to be solved by just pausing and looking at it. The one issue is because of like the lack of texture and just how stark white all the snow blocks are, it might not be possible to count some of these things when you look at them. 
because they just blend together so much. Okay. On the outside. Moving in towards the middle. This is from here all the way back. Angled one and out. And the white terracotta. Angled in for two glass. One glass there. Two. Two by two. One, two, little L, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, glass, glass, snow, I probably should have taken a break during this. <laughs> Just following along with the light manic, which is why the one thing where I feel bad about <laughs> bedrock players is they can't have this overlay to follow along, and that would make everything so much easier. If you ever have questions about this build or any other build, probably said it already, but you can always join the Discord and ask me there. I eventually respond to everything in Discord. Sometimes I don't actually get notified of like TikTok messages or YouTube messages. So I don't always get around to it because I'm not always aware that those messages exist. Whereas if you ping me on Discord, I'll, I'll get around to it at some point. This is just a lot of concentric circles with some areas just punched out to put glass in. So light could go from the sky all the way to the ground because it's going to hit trap doors on the boat, which are transparent, so it'll just go through that. There are several spots where light just goes directly through the entire ship. Yeah, like this makes me really take for granted. I guess I'm not this, but I guess I really do take for granted using world edit to make the sphere. Because it's just so much faster by just saying, I want a sphere of this block of this size centered here. And it'll just make one. Actually, yeah, I was I was complaining earlier about the bond with the ship taking forever. This is so much worse. <laughs> and we have quite a ways to go in height. I shouldn't have looked up. That's just so daunting. Honestly, if you just do it in multiple sittings, it won't be nearly as bad maybe build for like a half hour every day. You'll eventually get to the end. Whereas this, I mean, I know I'll eventually get to the end, but at what cost? My own sanity. Okay, planks, stripped wood. 
other stripped wood, but I need the fences to attach it to. Okay, so from that class, we're going back. And around the side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Just count along. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If this footage gets corrupted, I am going to go insane. <laughs> I should just end up, instead of having this be a tutorial video, it can just be the ravings of a man slowly going insane. I have no idea how long this has taken me. <laughs> like I didn't I didn't even look at the time before I started, so I don't know how long I've been doing this. It's been hours. I've just given up on the voiceover. You can't <laughs> You can't ask this of me. Oh my god, it's just it's so long. To just drone on and on. <laughs> I understand if it's helpful, but like my my brain is just it's gone at this point. And after all of this, I'm going to st stream later. Hopefully I just get it done in time to stream. Oh, geez. I don't think I'm going to be building today on stream. Maybe Bed Wars or like Breath of the Wild. Something to just chill out. Maybe Animal Crossing. If I can just shut my brain off for a bit chat with some nice people <laughs> while this renders out for like a couple hours because I want to get it oh I want to get it rendered out and start uploading so that way it'll be fully uploaded and the monetization check will be done by the time I wake up so I can just post it first thing in the morning so at least I've found my Videos do better if I post them early in the day. It might just be a coincidence. Like maybe I only post the good ones that I make early in the day. But I don't know. If that's all the information I have, I'm still going <laughs> to still going to go with it and assume that it's the best strategy I have. Honestly, you probably don't need this propeller either. <laughs> just get rid of just get rid of basically everything. Just make the boat. Just make the boat and stop there. I don't want to discourage anyone at this point, but oh, you have more resolve than I do. Or I guess we have like the same resolve because we're doing the same task. <laughs> Hopefully you have a friend or two helping you. And someone didn't just say, hey, make this for me. Because that would be a little mean. I guess I could always fill this thing up here with mushrooms. People tend to like when I make things uh, mushroom themed. I know I do. It's, it's very fun to make giant mushrooms. It's also really easy. And it doesn't take nearly as long as this. Because the part that takes a while is making the cap. And the cap is, I don't even think I've made one the size of this bubble so far. We haven't even gotten, oh, we haven't even gotten that far up it. What a lovely, lovely thought. We'll get there at some point. 
Tomorrow this will all just be a funny memory. I'm just excited for when my glasses eventually come in. Because the ones I have right now keep falling off my face. My vision has barely changed since the last time I got glasses. But my glasses themselves have like slowly broken to the point where they're really awful. So I'm excited to get new ones that actually stay on my face when I look down. I should probably stay zoomed out a little more. I feel like the wider FOV you have, the easier it is to follow along. Whereas if I'm just like right up in this block, 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 that's going to get confusing because you don't have the perspective of other things to gauge distance off of. So I should at least try to stay back. Bro, if this flops as a <laughs> if this flops as a TikTok, I'm gonna cry. Nah, probably not. I'll just make another one. <laughs> not another one of these airships. I'm not making a boat ever again. I don't even like boats that much. I just think they look kind of cool. Okay, fence, planks, it's just the same pattern, just moving up one after the other. There's slight variations in it, but it's essentially the exact same thing every time. Hey, we finally got to the lower strap. There's three straps on the big balloon. One, two, three, four. And we just got to keep connecting these all around on all the sides. Since I've already built this before, I'm kind of just looking into the background to keep myself entertained. I think in the future, if I can estimate it, I, like, I have a general idea of how long things take to build, or at least rebuild, because I've already built them. I think if it's going to be over like an hour and a half, uh, just, just don't even bother with the voiceover. It's just, <laughs> maybe a little at the very beginning, just so people get the base to follow off of. But after that, it's just, just for my own sake, I can't, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> or maybe make it like multi-parts. I don't know. I'd prefer it all to be in one go. Even though I'm absolutely just complaining because I'm doing it all in one go. Five of those. And this is just going to keep going round and round. So it starts curving up. And then it'll have to start curving back to the middle. I'll essentially be building this multiple times. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't think these are words of encouragement anymore. <clears throat> they stopped a while ago.
You're a brave soul. Honestly, if you make this, you don't need to make anything else in Minecraft ever again. You've won. Like, you, you have a massive base. Ton of space in this balloon. You just, you don't, you don't need to do anything else in survival. Just consider that a victory. Oh, if I get a warning for low disk space, I'm gonna freak out. I probably shouldn't, though, because I deleted most things on my, well, on the video hard drive that I have. Because I knew this would take a while and it would take up basically all of the space, but there is still a chance that it just takes so long that I truly run out of storage. That is yet to happen. It would be fine uh, happening on like a small half hour build, but a many, many hour build, I'd, lo I'd lose it. What little sanity I have remaining at the end would be gone. There'd be no more. I feel like I'm just going through all of the stages of grief. Am I still just like in denial or something? Bruh. Bruh, it's, it's like, oh, it's gonna take so long. And then this is gonna go down into being like a 15, 20 second video where people just go like, nice. I like, I like it. It was, it was good, it was good. I was like, how much do you like it? You like it enough to put a heart on it? Uh, nah, nah, I don't like it that much. But I like it. I like it. I'm just driving myself crazy at this point. You shouldn't sit in your room and talk to yourself for just hours and hours on end. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then, two dark oak fence. Because that one would definitely suck to try and figure out on your own. These ones, I don't know. I feel like it should be obvious that this is three. And then one, and then one, one, one. I would love to reward myself with a bowl of white rice and just a nap. And probably some water. Because I've just been talking a lot and my throat is pretty parched. Dude, this isn't like the Let's Plays that I used to do, where I can just ramble about anything. I feel like to some degree I still need to keep <laughs> my uh, my brain on the fact that I'm doing a block by block video. I can't just ramble about whatever. Or maybe that's just what I should do. Instead of like helpful commentary, just just talk for like hours and hours. And then people can either choose to follow along and build the thing. Or I can just listen to the video of me talking and like listen to it as I go to sleep. It would just be a very like relaxing background sound. I don't know if my voice is good enough to be a relaxing background noise to fall asleep to. I would honestly take it as a as a massive compliment if it was. If you make it this far into the video and you're listening to this <laughs> Just let me do let me know down in the comments. Be like, hey, one way or another, just like your voices would be bad to fall asleep to or good to fall asleep to. And by you, I mean me. You can also let me know if you think your voice is good to fall asleep to. That'd be interesting. I don't know, like, I only know how my voice sounds to myself. 
I don't really know what it sounds like to other people. Because when I hear it played back, like, yes, that is my voice that I'm hearing. But, I don't know. It's It has a strange level of, like, abstract obscurity that it wouldn't have if it was somebody else listening to my voice. Because it's just so foreign to me while still somewhat familiar that makes it unsettling. Because, like, we weren't... I don't think any animals were really intended to hear what their voice truly sounds like to themselves or to others but hear that themselves yeah in the future I think maybe just like a five ten minute video of like a slower time lapse of designing it all and then just like do a do a short voiceover be like hey I threw a sphere on here because spheres are round and I wanted it to be round and I thought that would be a good way to get the round that I wanted out of the build and then I put some wood over here because I felt like it needed more brown and the wood I was using is brown so it worked out pretty good you know just kind of like <laughs> stuff like that just you know just me shooting the breeze out here bro this is just, this this should just be my podcast Eventually, you just have to have a podcast that's I build things and just talk. Life goal right there. Get paid to talk. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be my podcast. I'd go on anybody's podcast talk about pretty much anything. I just like conversating. I can talk about anything forever. Unless I'm tired. Then my mind is just like, get me out of here. Now I'm not tired. I'm just like antsy to get done. <laughs> Honestly, earlier I was like, if somebody comes <laughs> somebody comes in to talk to me while I'm building, I'll have to pause this. And then, like, edit that out? Nah, not anymore. If someone comes in to chat, we're just gonna chat. You had you had a detail, detailed explanation for the bottom. This one's just a really, really big sphere. You could look up a sphere guide if uh, it gets a little too out of hand. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh my god. The progress is non-existent. I did it. I lost it. I lost my mind. I'm <laughs> That was it. That one little hit of the page up. It's like let me see that next layer. And then I glanced at how much higher I had to go and the mountain seemed insurmountable. It's not though. Look at how far we've come. This, this is just circles. Circles are easy. <laughs> Which means if any of you, <laughs> if any of you building this are just like, God, this is taking a long time. Maybe I should quit. And then you just listen to me. It's being like, hey, maybe I should quit. That was probably not the best encouragement I could give. You're doing it though. You'll get to the end. Don't worry. Just if you're like, hey, maybe I should stop, stop. Stop for at least a bit. Don't just keep going. Don't power through it. It's not what heroes do. Heroes take some time to themselves, maintain their health and strength so they can save people when they're strongest. Psychotic people are the ones that just keep going until it's done. Because the quality of the work is absolutely decreased. Because <laughs> I'm not as, as alert or into it. Jeez, though. This is just... This is consuming my time. 
uh, and more than I thought it would. If I was listening to music, this wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Cause I I could do I could do pretty much anything while listening to music for maybe like nine ten hours. You know, you just get lost in the music. You just vibing to whatever Bob's on the radio, and then you know you're just doing your best. And you just kind of like forget about what you're doing. You're in the zone. Your body's like, I'm going to place some snow blocks here, some white terracotta there, and you eventually get it all done. Good God, though. This sphere, not not ever going to happen again. Not going to do it. I would build, like, an organic-ish shaped mound before I would ever build a sphere again. Oh, it's just... It's so uniform and also boring, but also like complicated and I can't mess it up and it's just it's just way too big. It's just way too big. I should have okay. So when I initially made this <laughs> when I okay, my initial building process was I made the balloon. And then I made the ship. But it wasn't this balloon, it was a much smaller balloon. So I made a small balloon. And then I made the ship, and then I was like, oh god, that boat is so much bigger than the balloon, that the balloon looks ridiculous, I need to get a different balloon, I need to make a bigger balloon. And I replaced it, because, you know, world edit, super simple. Big mistake. Like, biggest mistake I could have made. What I should have done was made the boat smaller. Who cares? People would still be like, dang, that's cool. You made a boat. Because that's what they're going to say with this one. Or they're going to be like, that's lame. You made a boat. Depends on whether or not they like boats, I guess. Oh. It's 6 o'clock? Oh my goodness. Um, maybe I've been doing this for like four hours. I don't remember. It's been a while. Just download the Lightmatica and just <laughs> just play this in the background. I don't know. Because the one thing is like giving out the Lightmatica to people is it's a good and bad thing because like the watch time on the videos goes horribly down because people just take the Lightmatic or world download and then not watch the video at all and like I don't blame them I would not want to watch this if I didn't have to but then the video doesn't do as well because the watch time is super super low because people click on it get their link and then move away and then then the video doesn't do so well so then not as many people see it and then because not as many people see it not as many people get the link to the thing to do it and it's like I gotta find some sort of middle ground there's one thing maybe a time lapse of describing the build that way who cares about the tutorial if people watch like a short five ten minute video of me building this as a time lapse and describing like the building process and how I go about constructing different things because maybe people would be interested in something like that and actually watch a good portion of it compared to this where maybe like five people that might even be way too many um, will watch the whole thing because they're following along on a tutorial. But like, I just want to get the things that I make out to more people. I mean, to a degree, it would also be cool to make money. <laughs> there, I would not argue and say that it would not be cool to make money because of course it'd be cool to make money doing something that you love to do.
Big Bolon. Big Bolon. It's just too massive. It's way too big. Two, three. It's all starting to come together. Honestly, once we get halfway up, oh god, no. Once we get halfway up the propeller, we're only gonna be halfway up the sphere. Shit. <laughs> That's not good. That's bad. That's really bad. Maybe I should just turn my mic off. I don't know, I kind of maybe want to listen to this later and just laugh at myself. Yeah, like a couple, like many layers ago, I've decided to stop like kind of going slow with this and just speeding it up. Um, you can always watch it in half speed. If you watch it in half speed, just mute it. I'm not saying anything important anymore. I kind of just want to play Warzone. Just like something kind of brain dead that I could just like go to town just like taking out, I don't know, whatever. Because <laughs> like I still have a lot of energy because I've been doing something very, very low energy for so long now. I know, I think this amplified world will, will be cool to give people. Because then you don't have to build this yourself. You can just play in the amplified world. Also, i got to see if there's a way to convert this to bedrock for free. Because I've seen that there is something for that. I don't know what... Or, like, how it works. Does it work? Does it cost money? No idea. Oh, crap. We're getting to the point where the blocks are actually, like, different. And stairs, oh, so then I have to place them correctly. One, two. One, two, three. Back to the circle grind. Here we go. Well, we're getting up on halfway. On the sphere, at least. We're past halfway of the total build. God, this is, it's going to be a short one. Be a real, real quick one. If I don't finish this in the next, like, hour... Oh my god, in the next hour... I don't know if I'm going to. I'm just trying to power through it. Um, if I don't finish this in the next hour... I'm going, I'm going to have to stop. Because <laughs> I gotta make it to the stream. And decompress. There's just gotta be some way to get out of this mess. God, and like, this is me skipping my homework as well. This is what I get for always being more interested in my hobbies than my work. Which is kind of why I kind of want this to become my work. Not necessarily Minecraft, but I like video game streaming just because it is something that I very easily like get fully engrossed in for hours and hours. Whereas work is something that I have to force myself to focus on because it's usually something I'm not interested in or it's so boring. This is, is getting to be kind of like work now though. <laughs> but this is not the kind of thing I normally do for Minecraft. Any larger builds are just, just going to be out of the question. No, no, no. Not. If it, if it costs me my sanity, then it probably isn't worth it. Can I have just a guest builder come in and just follow over this? Just take over. Just make, make it so I don't have to place any more blocks, please. There's too many, there's too many blocks. Not enough time. God, this is what manually placing like a hundred thousand blocks does to somebody. 
I don't know if that's how many it is. It's a lot, though. <laughs> Which is why I made it out of snow, because it's so many blocks. At least it's very easy to get a lot of snow if you want to do this. The wood, on the other hand, well, it's made out of the two biggest tree types. So compared to the rest of the wood, it should be the easiest to get a lot of. Not, not necessarily the dark oak. It's not that easy to automate. But you could, there are farms for the large spruce trees, which are incredible. And I've made Il Mango's double uh, giant spruce tree farm before. It worked so well. Literally never needed wood ever again. Problem was, I just, I didn't know what to do with all the bone meal that I had after making the bone meal farm that I needed to supply it. Okay, stairs. Oh, I'm gonna do the strip dark oak wood first. Boom, boom, that's four. And this glass. Boom, boom. One, two, three. Why is this a different color? That's so much more blue. Oh, what? Oh, because it's in a different section of the build. Or it's in two sections. So we really need to place it or something. I don't know. I think this will... Let me check the time. How long did this one layer take? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stop after this one and then come back. This is just a little too much. And I also have to remember to do the other things and remember where I was when I came back. Come back. It'd be really nice to just do the whole time lapse in one go, but I don't actually possess the time to do that. So this is how long it takes to be at a, this layer. I'll at least check out what the next one is. Because the next one's still going to be going out, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't look like we're to the halfway point of the sphere. Holy crap. This is big. This is a... This, I... When you do things with world edit, you don't really gauge how long it would take people in survival to do it. And I'm sorry, I've I've completely misrepresented, at least to myself, how long I thought this would take. And for that, I I apologize. Because I do want to I want to make cool looking things. But I also want to make things that are achievable. Five. One, two. One, two, three. Okay. We'll check out the next layer. It goes out. Oh, it goes out a couple more. Oh, this isn't even like, this is even like halfway on the sphere. Oh, no. Okay, we'll come back to this. Uh, for you, it'll be like a brief pause of time. For me, it'll be hopefully at least a day. <laughs> okay, it's literally a different day. Back on the grind. Let's go. <laughs> so, continuing off of these <laughs> back propeller blades, we're going up with a dark oak fence into the side <laughs> with two spruce planks. Man, I was going absolutely crazy yesterday. Sorry if that made the entire middle section just horrible, but if you just kind of keep making relatively concentric circles, it should be pretty <laughs> straightforward. Um, if it's not, I'm really sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two. We're just connecting these two together. 
One, two, three, four. Uh, stream yesterday was a lot of fun. Just playing a lot of mini games on high pixel, which was a blast because I hadn't played essentially all of the ones that we did. So I learned some new stuff. Uh, coming off here, we're going slab, and then it's going to be two stairs in the middle. So well, one facing this way, and one facing that way. To get this. Oop. And then, oh, we're starting to go up. That's so nice. Okay, from the center block, got three spruce wood coming off the back. This is just... Oh, the other thing was, um, I forgot to restart the replay mod recording. Yesterday, there was a slight pause when I <laughs> went to go to the bathroom, and I apparently forgot to continue the replay mod recording. So, yeah, there's like three hours of lost video in the middle, which is really sad, because the most important thing about this is the time lapse of building it. So I'm going to have to rebuild the middle section up to here. It stopped at right below that like gray hemisphere layer all the way up to here so all of that section which was thankfully not the entire time it's only like two and a half three hours uh yeah that i have to redo so if you thought this build was long and uh, horrible just imagine having to do it again because you hit pause and you didn't hit resume that's essentially the position I'm in. Uh, yeah, but I hopefully that'll be like the most complaining that I do for <laughs> the next like two hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Coming in three, four from the side. Yeah, like I. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best, but this is, it's just, a, it's just insane. Like, I can't keep it up for this long. I, to be fair, I don't know if I've really seen many Minecraft uh, build tutorials that go over, like, five hours in length. Oh, man. Also, when I woke up this morning, my throat just, like, hurts quite a bit which means it's probably really dry in my room because that's that tends to be how it goes these are full andesite blocks here what are these ones stairs and slabs um i'm just gonna do a stair there and then slabs I'm perfectly fine changing it up a bit. Those are full. This is a stair. And two slabs on the side. Those two are full blocks. These two are slabs. Full block, slab there, air gap. And then there's going to be a lot more slabs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's finally connecting up to the sail in the front. If I ever did build this in survival, which, I mean, I almost certainly wouldn't, because that would be like the third time I'd have to construct it. And at that point, I would prefer to just create something new instead. But if I did build in survival, I would probably shoot for building it at the very beginning of a world and then having this just kind of be the big, like, mega base project. Because as long as everything's centered here, it should be fine. Because this this inner sphere can work for like all of your storage needs 
And if you don't do the design, the design of the rooms in the ship below, you can use that for pretty much anything as well. One, two, three, four, five. One off. Two, one off. Now one, two, three, four. The nice part is that once I finish this, when I do the rebuilding for the section that I foolishly did not record, I can build it as fast as possible. And I don't have to slow down to try and make things clear. If I'm still going too speedy, I'm sorry. I'm 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 trying to meter it, but also uh make sure I am not doing this for literally forever. Fences on the sides. This is just kind of the pattern that it's ultimately going for. Like kind of a gentle stair step going up of one, one, two, three, three, three. Two, three, four, and then a three by three. First, I need to put in these fences so I have something to place the wood against. There we go. I'll just do this full line first. Stopping one at an angle above. Coming back here, it'll be slab, slab, stair, two slabs. And six on that side. Skipping one block, one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. And one, two here as well. And then filling in with snow blocks just around it. <clears throat> if you ever want to hear me in a less rambly state, I feel like I've, I've already plugged my Twitch stream enough. But I'm a lot more, uh, I don't know, not insane while streaming compared to how I am while constructing this specifically. I don't know, this would definitely, it, I would definitely be good. I think doing the voiceovers for the much smaller builds. This one just takes a special kind of person to even want to construct. I would be impressed if anybody did this like in under a week. And somewhat concerned, probably. This is where I'm going to get more comments of how do you have so much free time. The answer is you you don't respect the free time that you have. That's how you get all the free time. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, it just goes further. Seven, eight, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's 8 on the sides and 12 in the middle. Continuing to leave uh, the glass whoops, there. Just so some light gets all the way to the bottom of the ship. 7, 8. Trap door. Slab. Stair. Uh, 
full block, probably full block, full block, and slabs. One, two, three, four. Okay, I am already starting to get like that almost completed sense. Because once we get up a little bit higher, we won't deal with anything in the front and pretty much anything in the back. It'll all mostly, it'll almost fully be like smooth sailing. And then, like, I like this build and all, but I don't think I like it enough to, like, <laughs> I don't know, mute the sound of these recordings and do, like, better voiceovers at the end to be helpful. Yeah, I guess even after waiting a day, I don't want to be helpful again for this. Like, I want to, but I don't think I have it in me. In the future, definitely going to try and break up anything big into like one hour or shorter recordings and then just putting all of those together because I think like eight different parts that are all like all right is a lot better than one video that just continuously goes downhill do this a blast though Oh, just to double check for my own sanity. Yes, it's recording. Thank goodness. The next bit of the propeller should start like off to the side there, which I think will be like the next layer or maybe the one after. Spruce, dark oak, spruce, 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 spruce. One, two, three, four. On the inner side, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But yeah, like, I know all of the builds that I've been working on are ultimately all going to be put together in one world that you can download and just play around in if you want in case you don't want to spend literally the probably days of time it would take to construct it all in survival um, slab full block and then two stairs So like when it's really dry in my room, I not only wake up with like a bloody nose sometimes, just because the air is like so dry, but like also my throat dries out a lot, so it gets like a little scratchy sounding. That's why I'm not I'm not like doing it on purpose or anything. It just it's just what happens when the air is dry. now just hoping to stay far enough out where this all works I th honestly the next video I should make should be just a how to download and use Lightmatica just so it can save some people time because it saves it saves so much time and then I know what you're thinking, but what about the ad revenue? Um, to a degree, I don't care. I've been told I should make a Patreon and have some of the builds just, I don't know, Patreon exclusive. 
And I don't necessarily want to do that. Because I'd prefer if everybody can have them. Which is why it's like, hey, if the ad revenue thing works, that's fine with me. I'll just do it that way. But otherwise, if it's like, nah, people literally only want the Lightmatics, then I mean I need to... I need to be able to afford to do it in in some manner. So whether that be Patreon or like maybe like Twitch subs or donations. Or if I start streaming on YouTube or something. That was a long one. Let's see. Maybe I should count out one of these. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve for those ones on the side. And this middle one is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that one's twelve again. Double andesite on the sides. And four more stripped wood. And then just a final C shape of snow with a trap door, more snow on the side, and like this is almost done in the front. It's still gonna come and stick out a little bit more. I guess most of this can be hollow for you as well. So that's just something to um, to think about anytime you're covering up a block here. I suppose you don't need to. Definitely would save on materials and time a bit. Because it's only the exposed parts on the outside that really matter. Also, like, coolest thing ever, looking at the YouTube monetization stuff, I made a dollar and, like, 20 cents yesterday. And that is like the coolest thing ever. So like two like super awesome stages for me in making YouTube videos. First one is just having people like, you know, actually like go out of all of the millions and billions of videos that exist. They somehow manage to find mine or be shown something I've created like the title, thumbnail, enough, what have you, to click on it. Again, out of millions to billions of other things that they could watch. And like that one person finding it, clicking on it, watching it, and leaving a comment. Like, that is insane. Like, that still blows my mind every single day. It's not something that I really want to get used to. I want to be amazed by that. Because it's, I mean, it's an amazing thing. Like that level of being able to share something with people you don't even know. At least to me, that's like, that's super cool. Maybe it's like overrated to you. I'd say check your priorities, man. Gotta stay a little humble. No, that's like, that's one of the things I like the most about doing this. It's just kind of like the amazement I get thinking about how like ridiculous it is that you can connect with so many people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cause like I don't know. I was making some Minecraft TikToks for a little bit, and they were doing I don't know like decently well. Like a couple thousand people would see them. Which, I, I mean, is still, like, insane. I guess it's just, it seems like less now because, I don't know, I have slightly more perspective from having more people watch one of them. Because when I posted the Mushroom Stump one, it kind of, like, you know, it went off. Like, two million people saw it or whatever. And, like, I can't wrap my head around that. I 
at no point in my life will have spoken to two million people. Unless, like, that counts as speaking to two million people, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying, like, face-to-face -face conversations. I don't even know if I'll talk to, like, 10,000 people. But, like, I made something, and so many people saw it. Like, how is that not just, like, the reward in and of itself? Is being able to just share. Sorry if you're hearing any of these sniffles. Can't help it. It's the winter. The winter is the worst for my respiratory system. The cold air just it stings the lungs, you know? I'd prefer if it didn't, but that's just kind of what it does. The best part about the winter is getting all of the precipitation. Like, the accumulation of, like, 20 feet of snow, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's, like, how much it snows by me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <coughs> huh. If this was a shorter video, I would just, like, go back and redo that and cut out the sneeze. But there's no way I'm going to remember to find it. Just fill these with glass. I don't really know why I left air blocks. I mean, you can. There's no reason not to. So those are 11 all there, and then this is 12. Full andesite blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then slab, slab. Five. Off on this side. Stair, slab, slab. It's it, it's nice, like, going from building it to where you're like, oh, I just want to put in, like, a couple more things to make it, like, a slightly nicer design or to give it a little bit better shape to having to place all the blocks and it's just like why this is just so inconvenient especially all the like weird overhangs okay this does that one just doesn't need to be there i don't know what i was doing there's no way that will ever make sense that just just that just just get rid of it sometimes i make mistakes and i don't notice till a bit later Okay, there's, there's, there's tens of thousands of blocks here. All right, I'm, I feel like I'm allowed to make one or two mistakes. And again, all of this is optional. You can switch these out with anything you want. If you want to use marble for this entire balloon, why? But also, go ahead. I won't stop you. That's just, it takes so long to get that much stuff. Unless you're in creative, I mean, then then do whatever. I just don't, I just don't want you to make yourself suffer that much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One there, one in the middle, and one on the opposite end. The thing is, also these replay recordings, even though I did kind of mess up and delete a very important, or just not record a very important section, they're still kind of like really hard to use when they're like seven or eight hours long they just kind of like break down on my computer and they 
they tend to crash a lot when they're like over two hours. I'm I'm amazed it works at all though. Like whoever designed that mod, genius, power to them. If I had more money, I'd donate. But uh, I'm super poor, so <laughs> maybe one of these days I'll be able to donate to my favorite mod creators. That'd be a pretty fun goal. Three. Uh, four fence. Three fence. Four strip spruce. And another three by three here. Oh, this one's curving up, and that means the top one's gonna go up and curve to the left. Hey, not that not that much further up to go. Just a lot of going around the circle. Which is a pain, but I think it's better than trying to build it like going vertically by layers. Well, to be fair, I just don't know if there's any good way to actually build a sphere in Minecraft. This might just be the easiest way to do it. Okay, fully into site block, stairs, stairs, slab. Oak stairs. Oh, this way? Oh, that's because I just built this. Oh, there's nothing to attach that to, that's why. Sometimes I forget that I haven't actually placed a bit of the hologram. Okay, stairs, stairs, and let's go off this side. This is starting to be the walk around platform, which is symmetric on every side. So if you see that I've done one, like half or one quarter of this uh, in a way that's more understandable, it's just gonna be repeated over and over again. So you can, uh. You can rewatch one section four times if it provides you more clarity. But you don't have to do this fully linearly. Oh, I have an exam I have to do. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> I always remember these things at the worst of times. Okay, it is nice that we're coming up to the halfway point on this sphere. I think just how much construction is required for this might make me not want to play Dyson Sphere program. Just be afraid of spheres at that point. One thing that I do ask of you, if you've made it this far, just please don't judge me off of this video <laughs> or clip it and just take it as like hey dude this is what this guy's like it is not this is just semi sleep deprived ryan this is what happens two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight yeah i did not sleep much last night i woke up pretty early and I have the day off of school um, which is pretty nice but 
it's not nice when I wake up early still. I have a very hard time sleeping in. I tend to just wake up at the same time every day. Sometimes earlier. But never usually later. Three on each side here. And one, two, three, four, five. And a site. Stairs. Stairs. And I believe this is the final tip of the front. Might be off by one. It might go out one more further. It definitely doesn't go past the top of this box, though. Okay, continuing on to the left. Like the fact that I make <laughs> tutorials like this is why I don't make more things in total. It definitely helps the ideas flow sometimes because I just have a lot of time here to just think while kind of mindlessly placing these blocks down. So like I'll occasionally stop and just write something in my notebook. You may not see that because I do at least try to edit those out. But I won't be pausing the replay mod this time. No siree. That would make me the big sad. I think the part that I lost was the fastest part to build, though. Which I guess is one upside to it. So, go up one more layer here. Fence, fence, strip dark oak, spruce planks. Like, unless I wanted to make this like a 30 or 40 part mini series, I don't know if there's going to be like a better way to go about this. Except maybe just go really in depth on any of the smaller builds and for the bigger ones just be like, download it or just don't waste your time. I'm just going to throw planks there. Because I'm a rebel and I change things up. I don't know if you can tell, but I made this propeller after I made this area over here. Which is why there's stairs. Okay, these, these are all just going to be planks for now. Because you can't even see those on the outside. They could be snow as well. It, it really doesn't matter. Five across there. Stairs, slab stairs, stairs, or plank stairs. Not slab. Plank stairs. The dark oak is made to uh, stick out one more than the jungle. Just so there's a little bit more uh, depth variation on the sides. Because otherwise it looked a little too flat.
If I actually went like really slow and methodical over this, I wonder how long it would take. Because I'm definitely going faster than I could be. <clears throat> so maybe add like another like two hours, maybe two and a half onto whatever the length of this video is. For me building it slightly slower. So many stairs. I just wish there were terracotta stairs. Terracotta stairs and slabs would be the best. Not the glazed ones either, just the normal stairs. Or just the normal terracotta. The glazed ones are just too busy for me to use in like pretty much anything. Because they have a very, very strong pattern on them. Which is kind of hard to make it go with general builds. I think my favorite one is the pink glazed terracotta just because the like feather leaf pattern on it throwing it as like pink leaves in a tree usually ends up looking all right though it would be nice if they just added pink leaves into the game I know at least I would be very excited about that. Boom. I'm sorry that I've ran out of things of at least mild interest to talk about. Like, I don't even remember all the things that I mentioned yesterday. I mentioned going to the dentist recently. Possibly. If not, I went to the dentist recently. No cavities. My uh, fake teeth uh, did not fall out. So that's pretty cool. I have fake teeth because I was born missing a lot of teeth. No wisdom teeth and missing two upper eye teeth. Didn't get fake wisdom teeth, just got fake eye teeth. Fake wisdom teeth would be, I think, probably a weird and wasteful decision. And probably just bad for your health, maybe. I don't know, people get their wisdom teeth taken out for a reason. Getting fake ones put in, I feel like, kind of defeats the whole purpose. Oh, and just remember, if you're building this and you, like, misplace a couple blocks, don't stress out. Literally no one is going to notice. It'll be fine. It might bother you to the point where you want to go back and fix it, and that's okay. That's something you really want to do. But if you're only stressed because you think other people might notice it, they're not going to. Now, I've, I've designed this thing, and I'm rebuilding it. I would not notice. Also, most of the like finer detail on this can only be seen like from flying around it. So even if there is something that looks kind of off, in almost every situation, no one will be able to see it, really. Because they'll either be on the ground, or they'll be like flying with an elytra, so they'll be going pretty fast. And it won't be that noticeable. So as long as you get the general shape of the sphere, you, you'll be fine. 
I mean, I know we'd both prefer if you just get it exactly right. Because that's the least stressful way to go about it. You can also always try to make a downscaled version. I do still need to make videos about more of the design process that I have. Because that's going to be a lot more helpful to people than, than this. Because this allows you to build this thing specifically, and it doesn't even teach you, like, how to come up with something like this. Which I don't know if I'll be able to teach how to come up with something like this, but I can at least try my best. And that effort is probably the most meaningful part. Planks, stairs. Then we have these. You're going to be awful to try and think about how to describe this. Okay, so we have these three dark oak spots. And then we're going one, two, three, four, five. Jungle to this dark oak. You're going to come right off the side. One, two, three, and four. And then get rid of those three in the middle. Same thing here after this large stretch of jungle wood off of this corner. One, two, three, four. Same thing on this side. As you can see, uh, the symmetry exists. Again, big section of jungle wood. Fourth one out from this dark oak. The symmetry just at least aids in the uh, direction of the construction. Because, like, placing these just fences alone in survival is just so time consuming. Okay, we're moving on up. Oh, that's just saying that that is starting to interfere. Interfere. That's why it's just purple blocks. Because they're not in the original schematic. But they don't actually intersect with anything, so just ignore any of the purple blocks over there. So we're getting yet another propeller. It is just these propellers just kind of rotated around. They should all be symmetric. I hope some of you at least, <laughs> if you make it this far, have had fun. So like this video, I don't expect it to do well in any way, shape or form. Like if the time lapse does like kind of cool on TikTok, whatever, then a lot of people will come over to click on this and then it'll get like a high number of views, but no one will actually be watching it. Okay, from the middle here. Because the average watch time will be like a minute, maybe. They'll just watch the time lapse again and then be like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> and I don't blame them at all. Like, if you're not actually going to watch the whole thing, then there's, I mean, not really any point in clicking on it in the first place. But, I mean, throw down in the comments if you'd rather I just kind of chat and explain the more confusing parts, like I guess this. So come off of this at an angle. Otherwise, we're just going double plank stair. I guess those are double stair, which, yes, is important. I didn't actually know. I'm going to go back to the left side. It's just when I start on a pattern, like always circling around to the left, I kind of want to maintain that. I don't know why. It just, something in my mind is like, no, 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 you were doing it the other way, go back. So then I have to. These are all curved stairs here. 
That one's going to be a joy to place. Boom. Snow blocks again. We're almost, I think, to the point where it's going to start curving back in, which is the most exhilarating part. Okay, this part's a little weird. So we have this zigzag of stairs, then those two snow blocks, and coming off of this zigzag, we have planks, with the last one being stairs. Two dark oak fence to get there, and three to get over here. And this is, again, going to be repeated on other sides. So just keep that in mind. I think one of the most useful things is just the fact that the schematic is up. So if I go too fast through something, you can at least like see what these blocks are before I get to them. And of course, you can always read the text in the bottom middle in case you get confused as to what they are exactly. Um, off of this corner here, towards the back of the ship, one, and then two out to the side to get that fence. Which again is two off there, three off there. So many stair blocks. So little time. Okay. I'm just gonna do these because they're all alternating. Stairs on the ends. Fence post off one on the corner. And this one is <clears throat> double upside down jungle stairs in between. Like, even if this ends up being just an absolute awful video at the end, which, I mean, I still have fun enjoying it. Um, I st what? I have fun. I enjoy doing it. I haven't been up that long. I'm not supposed to be this bad at, I don't know, just being awake right now. I still have the dedication to go through and do it. <laughs> For better or worse. Possibly for worse, we'll see. And then of course the fun redo of that lower section oh oh bother okay coming off here I think the interesting part is going to be stitching the time-lapse footage together. I 
Okay, that's the only change out here. It's just that slab. Then we're absolutely done with the front. I think the next layer up will be the walkway for this. Putting stairs on the end of these. Uh, double stair, or double planks. This one's a single one because we have the glass there. Again, we just want to let the light through all the way to the bottom of the ship. It's like I like putting out the light matic so it's more convenient for people to do but also so people can just paste it in and like in creative mode just kind of like riff off of whatever the build is that I've done because I would love to see people just take these and make them just like a million times better because there is no way that this is the best that it could be because I, I even know of ways that I could make it uh, better more interesting it would just take time and at some point I do like want to move on to constructing a different project. You can only learn so much by doing the exact same thing. I mean you can learn a lot, but you don't necessarily learn everything just working on one project. Which is why you gotta keep changing it up every now and then. Because if I just built mushroom houses forever, then I'd never be good at building boats. I might be really good at building organic things, but not necessarily boats. And I want to be able to be good at building all things. Or at least decent. probably get out my book of like several thousand inspirational quotes or whatever to help help me get through this this is like the Iron Man of building challenges just you already know what the build is it's not difficult because it's in creative mode and you have the schematic it's just like do you have the willpower to get through to the end? Which is just a different kind of challenge. Something that's a lot more manageable to me than uh, speed building. I build very slow. At least in my own eyes, I build very slow. At least compared to speed builders, I build very slowly. Especially speed bridgers. Goodness, those people. I don't understand how they place so many blocks down without falling. Two, three. One, two. to the snow and we get to move up again hype I don't even know how long it takes me to finish one layer at this point <sighs> I'm just yawning because it's the morning if I think about my classes too much then I'll start yawning again <laughs> it always seems like I have a ton of energy like right away when I wake up 
And then whenever I start doing anything after like five, ten minutes, it's just like, nah, bedtime again. But that initial like wake up, I'm not that groggy. Oh, is this still moving outwards? Okay, okay, that's chill. We can we can manage it. We can manage it, I suppose. I'm just gonna go with the snow layer all the way around. Because that should just make it easier to do the other parts. Four. Two. Three, four, five, five, six. I don't think I counted that right. One, two, three, four. One, two. One. Don't be afraid to listen to like the entire Glass Animals uh, discography like 45, 50 times while listening or while following along this video. My personal favorite song right now is Agnes. Um, second favorite is probably, is it season three, episode two? Or is it season two, episode three? I don't know. That's just the title of the song. That one's really good. Um, I mean, everybody knows Heat Waves at this point, I suppose. Helium is also really good. Domestic Bliss is really good. Um, Black Mambo? Or is it Mamba? That one's awesome. I'm not the best with the titles of the songs. I could sing most of them if I'm <laughs> listening to the music. But I don't think that's necessarily an astounding skill to have. I feel like that's pretty common. I mean, you could always listen to like Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Or the Pink Phantom, which is the gorillas featuring Elton John, which is something that I never expected in my entire life. <laughs> like it's it's a really weird combination of artists, but it's spectacular. Like it's just it's really really good. Oh, these curve back. That just makes that obnoxious. Okay, this is gonna curve this way and this is gonna curve that way yeah highlight in orange it's at least the right curved shape three planks then a stair and then our fence again I'm sorry for all of the uh, curved stairs in like all of my builds because they're just horrible to recreate but they look nice, so they kind of have to happen. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the bottom section of this, so it should get a lot easier to build at least. Just a lot of rotating upside down stairs. And if they're off a little bit, no one's going to know. <laughs> so don't stress out about the small stuff. Because it's the small stuff. It's not the part that's stressful. Okay, yeah, these are all upside down. So I'm going to attach them to each other like so. Well, that one I just placed wrong. They're orange because they're the wrong, like, block state, even though they look correct. It's obnoxious. Okay, you just gotta continue these stripes. Oh, with stairs on the outside. Fence. 
fence there. sleepy it happens oh. I'm definitely gonna take a nap after this before I rebuild that like middle section and I'm definitely I'm gonna have to rebuild that middle section because that is what I have chosen to do and it would kind of ruin the uh, the time investment with everything else if I didn't do that, which is the most unfortunate <laughs> aspect of this whole process. It's like, how do you get people hooked into an eight-ish hour tutorial if you don't have the cool time lapse at the beginning? Oh, these should all have stairs on them. The reason they don't is because I was copying and pasting this thing around and it deleted them off. Otherwise, they're absolutely supposed to have them. But again, small mistakes that I don't realize until it's slightly too late. I don't know, I'm still fixing them now. Personally, the thing I want people to change up the most about this is the inside of the ship. And the inside of this balloon. Like, do something with it. I know at this point into the video, the only people that I could possibly be addressing are going to be people who randomly have clicked to this point in the video, which, like, hello, why, but thanks for showing up, and uh, people that are actually, like, following along to build it. Which means they're probably not using uh, world edit. Because if they were, huh. <clears throat> Why would they follow this block by block? I don't know. to have the nice Minecraft music every so often to just lull me to sleep. Oh, you know what? This is probably going to be... Eh, I probably should have muted the Minecraft music. There's one song from this entire like soundtrack of Minecraft that always gets copyright claimed. And it just shows up at some weird point in the video and then I have to mute that section. Which, for this one, won't mean much of anything at all. But for the shorter videos, it's annoying and I've had to redo them because of it. Not the ones that are like an hour long, but I mean ones that are like seven minutes.
it's nice that this is so repetitive because I don't feel too terrible just kind of zipping through it. Okay, we got all those. Yeah, there's the jungle wood platform. So starting here, fence, spruce planks, spruce wood, fences on either side, and dark oak wood. And then going on to this one, dark oak wood, three across, spruce wood, the planks, and then the fences. Okay, going from the innermost part. So from the center, we have one dark oak, then two dark oak and two snow. And I'm just gonna go around the inside for this. next layer is when it starts to go in because after this little bit of walkway really the only thing left is just the blimp part homework to do now would be a good time to take a break and probably go do it study for your test um, if you don't go outside look at some trees talk to a squirrel throw a stick or something <laughs> I don't know just take a break Take, take significantly more breaks than I give myself. Because I'm definitely the type of person to just overwork myself all the time. For the things I like and for the things I don't like. I just work semi nonstop. Okay, now we're going to throw in stripped jungle wood. It's going to be four out from the center four out from all of these. So anywhere there's snow here on this first section, we can go four out. Didn't mean to do that. Um, trap doors to close off the outside. This next section of two will be split into five five and four and four. But again, trap doors whenever there's this section here. And also just that extra one. Next one will go five and then four and then five and four and five again. Two, three, four, five, then four, and then one, two, three, four, five. And on this one, we'll do two trap doors, fence, trap door, fence, trap door, all on those inner corners. And compared to this, okay, so we're almost to the middle. So do another one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then with these trapdoors here, we're going to change. I start looking from the left side of the ship. 
coming in one, we go one, two, three twice, and four, and then five. We can come back for trapdoors and fences. Then here we're going out by four, then by five, then four, five, four twice, and then five twice. And then four all the way across this section. And then coming back to this corner here where we left off in the trapdoor, next corner is fence, then trapdoor. This one is fence with trapdoor. And then trapdoors at the end of all of these stair parts, so every other one. And here we go. This is an increase to five again. And then four twice, and then five, four, then five, then four, then five, then five, then four, then five, and the next one is, you guessed it, five, the next one is, very good, five again. And then the next one is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Coming from this corner, which is that like middle-ish corner, trap doors, fence, trap door, fence, trap door, trap door, fence, and trap door. And again, this pattern is just repeated on all sides. So one. Two, three, four, five, four, five, four, five, four twice, five twice, and then four across the front. This glass here lines up with the glass from below. Okay, again, when it's inset back by one, it's gonna be a length of five, with the following one being a length of four. So five because it goes back, and four when it stays flat. And we're just gonna follow this all the way around. And when it becomes double wide, like here where we change, it becomes six long. And then we go to the one, two, three, three, four, and back to going five on the change for when it is flat.
on to the next layer. Again, this middle area is huge. Like, do something with it. It's kind of the whole point of making it so big. Is that you have a lot of space to use. Also, light it up. Ooh, that's a good thing to point out. If anybody downloads this world, they still definitely want to light up the inside. So we're going to go around here from this middle point. We're going to leave an air gap. Dark oak stairs on either side. Dark oak on either side with walls. And then we'll follow around this pattern for the inner snow. Would like to follow it from here. Oh, this might be the middlemost layer before it starts to curve back. Hopefully. I can dream at least, right? Make sure you drink some water, stay hydrated, do some posture checks, make sure you're sitting properly. I don't want to destroy anybody's back or health <laughs> by them following a video that I made. One, two, pause, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. One, two, three, four. Boom. One, two. One, two. One. One, two. One, one. Two, one. Two, two. The four. And two. Get rid of that one. Okay. And then from this doorway, looking towards the back of the boat, we're using smokers for railings. If this is too expensive, just put like a cobblestone block or something. I just like how they look. You can really put in whatever railing you feel like. It doesn't have to include fences, uh, iron, iron bars either. Whoops, that was just the wrong click too many times. That's where we change direction. I guess I forgot to throw these in, but they should be there. You could honestly do this whole rim in just fence. That would also be fine. But it's relatively just alternating smokers, which will all have trapdoors on top.
Holy crap. Okay. Uh, the next layer up is mostly just going to be trap doors on top of all of those. So let's do it. We got to continue these propeller blades. Everybody's favorite part, I'm sure. So we might as well just go for all the trap doors right away. Come back for those uh, fences later. This is just a lot of shift clicking and trying to hit the uh, iron bar hitbox. Crap. Yeah, that's going to happen a couple times. Yeah, I can't believe I just forgot this small section of three. done it. It's a lot easier for me to hit it going off the uh, hitbox of the previous trapdoor. Sometimes. I guess not always. Oh my goodness. There it is. That, why was that one so difficult? Okay, well, we're done with that. So, on top of these stairs, just some chains. If you can actually hit the top hitbox of the stairs. Dark oak fence on top of the walls. Strip dark woke. Stri strip dark woke on top of the other strip dark oak. Uh, we're going to continue building this up. 
And it appears to be, at least so far, just a straight increase in height of every block. Yeah, with no new overhangs. And maybe this is the part where it starts to curve back on the next layer. <laughs> I keep saying that, but at some point it will be true. So I guess this layer so far is the most straightforward one. Just trapdoors on top of everything, and all of the snow just increases in height by one. Okay, and I'm just going at uh, as light speed as I can. Because there's no useful information here besides just stack up everything. Okay. Well, goodness. The next layer will be somewhat more interesting. Going up. Got to continue this propeller. Fence. Planks. And strip dark oak. And over here. Strip dark oak. Strip spruce, planks, and the fences. All right. So on top of this doorway, going fence on top of fence, oak on top of oak, and stairs on the top corners. We're starting to get some change, so I'll go a little bit slower here. Overhangs in the middle. Block there. This long line just goes up by one. Four, two, two is normal. And then one, one, and then these corners are where it comes in. those fences down there. Okay, I'll fix that in just a second. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. One, one. Two is coming back. One, one. Two is coming back. These ones are just increasing in height. Okay, but the fences from before, so wherever there was a fence here around the side, just plop one on top. That's all, nothing too complicated. I guess some of them I doubled up on. Uh, so one off of, I guess, oh my goodness. One off of the main center one. So you have the really wide section that one can increase by one, the next one increase by two, and all the other ones just go up by one.
That means this one should go up by two to match that. I guess some things I forgot to copy around to all sides. changing a small amount of things on the fly. And if you don't uh, like the look of this, then you definitely don't have to increase the height of those. So right there. But now it's symmetric all around. Okay, going up in height again. Yes, it's curving back in. Oh, it is a glorious day. It means it's only going to speed up from here. This is the end of this propeller. Or blade. The whole thing is the propeller. This one is getting closer and closer to being done. As are we. Not too many more blocks to go, thankfully. This is going to be an increase of height on the sides with three for a crossbar. Upside down stair in the middle, right side up, and then curved stairs on the sides. And then I'll do this from the inside again. Because this, I believe, makes it more clear as to exactly how this is changing. So you can see the overhangs from the inside. Dude, light at the end of the tunnel, though. Definitely bringing uh, some much needed joy. <laughs> And again, this is just the same pattern as the other sides. Just rotated or flipped a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. like that <laughs> if you look down that's how much we have left to do uh, but that's about it there's no more like well there's one tiny ring at the top but that's about it and that's that's not really time consuming it does consume time but it's not like inconveniently time consuming Not bad, it's all coming together. A little more propeller movement. And the middle section is going up by five. And we're going to see some more overhangs.
Try to attach that one up. Sorry for being disorienting while spinning around. That one. Um, please let me know in the comments below if me counting things out loud is helpful. Because I don't know. That's like, at times like this, I feel like that's the only helpful thing I can do. But I also don't know if it's even helpful. Because for me, I just, I don't know. I just count things myself as I watch tutorials. But I don't know if it's just easier to just have someone else count them out. I do miscount things from time to time, though, so that's not good. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed the pattern with the uh, propeller construction, but we're kind of making the same uh, like T-shape and pulling it up and just shifting it around a bit. Okay, nice. So from this corner here, not this section, but this corner, we go in one, and then we go all the way over to the other side. So we leave one gap there. Then we can throw in the white terracotta. Move on to the next spot. Same really long section on this piece with the white terracotta. And then we have an overhang again. Again, now is probably another fine time to take a break, in case you haven't yet. It is snowing outside my window, which means I'm probably going to go for a walk in the woods after this. <laughs> after this long and stressful day of, of building things. Actually two days now. <laughs> But it shall be nice. I love walking around while it's snowing. I also just like walking in the snow. But when it's snowing, it's a lot more fun. Okay, great progress so far. 
almost to the end. Don't give up at this stage. You gotta have that resolve. I understand if you give up before the balloon, but don't give up mid balloon. Then you just have a big bowl in the sky. Let's increase those. Moving one in and going all the way across so there's one gap on the end. Then a line of three, a line of two with the white terracotta on the outside. Line of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Don't forget the white terracotta. Then two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the one white terracotta on that side. And then same as the other side we just went around. Three, two, two, white terracotta. One, two, one, two, one, two, white terracotta. Two, <laughs> three, and then a full line with that one black gap. Don't forget to increase the height of this white terracotta. I can probably put like my whole snail house in here. <laughs> That's just how big of a sphere this is. So do something cool with it. You could put like layers and layers of stuff. Ooh, you could just have this be the hub of your world. That'd be pretty cool. Have people spawn in here. Just change where the spawn point is. Um, I knew this one would take a ridiculously long time. So I put it in an amplified world. Um, just in case you don't want to build it. And, well, I mean, at this point, you are building it and almost done. But in case somebody wanted to uh, have it but not build it, then it's at least in, I don't know, a world that they can just start playing in and not a super flat one. Super flat one, I find more useful for just referencing it, because then you don't have the distractions of all of the terrain. But it's not necessarily conducive to just playing and having fun with your friends, so. Sometimes we gotta think about that and throw it in a cool dark oak forest in an amplified world. White terracotta go up. Two, one, three, three, and then that full line with one gap. Increasing the height of the white terracotta. Moving in one. We got three, three, one, two with a terracotta, a line of single blocks that is four long. Two with the terracotta. Single block. Three blocks. Three blocks. Full line. Terracotta going up. Three blocks. Three blocks. Single, double, four singles. Double, single, triple, triple, full line. Four, 
four single blocks. This is the same as all the other sides. So if I speed through this too much, just go back a tiny bit and rewatch it. It's just the same pattern. Almost at the end of the propeller. We're getting there. I think it should be like two more. We'll see. Not too, huh. not too terribly much more to do overall, especially in the grand scheme of things. We're basically done. So moving in one white terracotta full line to get white terracotta with one air block. Moving one in from that corner. We have a line of four, line of three, line of two, and then one. Don't forget this terracotta on the line of two. Two, one, one, two. Terracotta on the two. Single, double, triple, quadruple. Um, and then how long is this one? Five? I don't know what five would be as a tuple. As a ruple? Quin quintuple? Yeah, it's quintuple for five. Never mind. I know you answered that question. Uh, four, three, two, one. Two, one, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. With the quintuple in the middle. Then the quadruple, triple, double, single. Uh, this one's glass. So we're going to have to start substituting a lot of things in for glass. Just so we can let the light start passing through. Because that'll allow the inside of this bubble to be bright. And it will allow the ship deck to remain bright. One, two, three, four, five. Single. Uh, quadruple. Triple. Double. Oh, goodness me. Single. Double. Single. Single. Double. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Up one more, which I believe is the last bit. Yeah, that should be the end of that, at least. Oh, I'm just going to change the direction of these, just because that'll bother me otherwise. <laughs> nice, and I'm moving here. Whoops, one up. And this will be one in from this block, a full line across. This will be a large overhang. And then triple, double, double. Can't forget that block. One, two, three, four, five singles in a row. Five singles in a line. Then a double double, then a triple, and then the full line minus one on each side. Don't forget the white terracotta. Triple double double, five singles. Don't forget these two terracotta. Double, double, triple, full line minus one on each side. Whoops. There we go. White terracottas moving in. 
triple. This double has a glass. So watch out for that one. And then double three singles before the fourth one is replaced with glass. Fifth one's normal. And a double. Terracotta. This double has glass. Single. This triple has a glass on the end. Two, three, four. Um, we're going in a line across. Terracottas. Triple, double, double. Or three, two, two. Doesn't really matter how you want to say it. Two, and the third one is going to be replaced with glass. And then two more singles. White terracotta. Double, double, triple. And just to double check this, when we go up one, yes, we are done with the propellers. So it's just these closing circles until we're done. Increase the height of the terracotta. Moving in by two on this line. We're going all the way across. And then we have a quadruple, then a double, then a double, terracotta, single, double, single, terracotta, double, single, double, double, quadruple, uh, full line minus two on each side. Don't forget the terracotta. Quadruple here. Then a double. Then a double. Then a single. Um, then a double. Terracotta. One, two with a terracotta. One, two, two, four. And then that full line minus two on each side. Terracottas, four, and then two, and then two. Don't forget this terracotta. Two, two, one. And we have a glass on that, mar of two. Uh, single, terracotta. Double, double. This four has a terracotta on the left side. Full bar minus two on each side. White terracottas. Oops, this one's a line of four with no glass. Then a line of two, then a line of two. Terracotta, single, double, single glass. Two snow blocks, one terracotta, one snow block, two snow blocks, two and four to finish that layer. On to the next one. Terracotta, terracotta. This one, moving in two on that next layer back, we will have a full line, except there's going to be some glass interspersed. So two, then a glass. One, two, three, four, five, then a glass, and one, two. The next one is a row of three with a glass in the middle. Then a row of two. Then a terracotta with a single glass next to it. Then two more. Terracotta and two single blocks. Then two, single block of glass. Two, triple with a glass in the middle. Uh, this long bar is separated with two snow, then a glass, then one, two, three, four, five snow, glass, two snow. Don't forget the terracotta moving in. Triple bar with glass in the middle. Double, single glass, double, terracotta, two singles, terracotta, double, 
Single, that's a glass block. Double, triple with glass in the middle. Two, glass, five, uh, then another glass, and then two. Should just end up being too short from the side. Terracotta in. Triple with a glass spacer. Double with a terracotta. Single, double. This time there's a glass replaced. Two singles. A double. A single. A double. A triple with no glass. Two glass, five. Oh no, this one's just all the way across. You guess you could replace this one with another glass. If you want to keep it symmetric, it doesn't really matter that much. Three with a glass. Two. Single glass. White terracotta. Double. Two single blocks. White terracotta. Two snow blocks. Single glass. Two snow. This one's a triple with a glass in the middle. And that's it for that layer. And we're moving up yet again. Okay, increasing the height of these terracotta by one. The area between the glass, so three in from the sides, full bar. Then we have a line of four, line of three, one, two, can't forget the terracotta, single snow, single glass, followed by a single snow, double snow, single snow, triple snow, quadruple snow, one, two, three, four, quintuple snow. White terracotta, white terracotta. We're going four, three, one, two, one, terracotta, terracotta, single glass, single snow block, two snow, one snow, Three and then four and then five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two single snows. Glass on top of the glass there. Part of that double. Two single snow. One single glass. Double snow with the terracotta. Single glass, three snow, four snow, five snow. Don't forget the terracotta. Four, and then three with a glass in the middle. Single glass, or single snow, uh, double snow, terracotta, single glass, double terracotta, single glass. Double snow, single snow, triple, and then quadruple. And up we go. So, middle piece terracotta. Moving one layer back, two in from the side, we're getting, we're getting a full line all the way across. Fence one or two in from the side on both of those. Three snow in, one fence out, then two snow, then two snow. And the fence is going to be like the terracotta, just sometimes added to the outside. We just have to keep an eye out for it. Singles. One, two, three, four singles. Double. That fence. Double. Triple with a fence. 
um, all the way across. Two short on both sides. Again, the fence coming in two on each side. Don't forget the white terracotta. Triple snow. Fence, double snow, double snow, fence, four singles in a row, three, four, with terracotta, fence, terracotta. Double snow with a fence, double snow, triple snow with a fence. Four snow with a fence. This one has a glass in the middle this time. Four snow. With a fence. Terracotta in the front. Triple snow with a fence. Double snow. Terracotta and snow block. Fence. Four single snows. We got a fence, terracotta, double snow, fence, double snow, triple snow with a fence. That whole line across is next with our fence two in on each side. Terracotta in the middle. Triple, fence, double, double, fence, terracotta, snow, terracotta, two single snows, fence there, double snow with a fence, double snow without a fence. Triple snow with a fence. The reason why I'm speeding up is because I'm saying all of it. So hopefully that's more meaningful than just watching me place it. Okay, from the middle, we're moving in white, one white terracotta. This is going to be too short from the sides. We're going to go a line all the way across. Which ends up being too short on this side as well. Then a line of three, line of two. Terracotta, uh, one, two, three, four, five single snow blocks in a line. Double snow, then three snow, and then that full line that's too short again. There are one terracotta in the middle. Then three, then two, and then a line of five, single snow blocks again. Don't forget these two terracotta. Two snow, three snow, that full line. Two terracotta, three snow, two snow, terracotta, line of five, single snow blocks. Terracotta back there, terracotta up here, two snow, then three snow, and then this line has a glass one in, or two in from the side, and then it is a full line of snow. Don't forget the one white terracotta. Three snow, two snow, Five single snow. The first two have white terracotta adjacent. And on the end, two snow and three snow. All of the fence is going to increase in height by one. So 
just a quick walk around the edge for fence posts. by one yet again. Oh crap, I forgot about this. So I guess I was wrong earlier. Okay, so in the middle, we're gonna have a line of three. Then it'll be a line of five. Then a line of two. Then two. Um. Then one white terracotta, two single snow blocks, one white terracotta, two snow blocks, two snow blocks, five snow blocks, then a line of three, and then we're repeating again. So five, two, two, single terracotta, two single snow blocks, white terracotta, two snow blocks, two snow blocks, five snow blocks, three snow blocks, five snow blocks, two, two single terracotta, two single snow blocks, single terracotta, Two snow blocks, two snow blocks, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five again, two, and then two, single terracotta, two single white snow blocks, one white terracotta. Two snow, two snow, uh, five snow, and then we're back to that middle part again. This is going to be everywhere is coming off with thickness of two strip jungle wood planks, except for when it dips in by one, then it's three. So as you can see, two, two, I guess we're here. Never mind, I was lying. It seems to be two just off of every block. Two, two, two. This one's three. Which means that this second white terracotta coming around here, we can turn. We go back to being two, 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 two. So it changes around this point of three. Probably I just wanted to make it a little bit thicker. Three, and then back to being twos. And then we'll change once we get to this terracotta again. Two, 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 two. And then once we get around to this bend here, three, we'll put a glass in to line up with the glass below it. Continue the two, three here, and then twos till we get to that second white terracotta going around. And that's when we change direction. And we keep going with twos. On this line of five, we have a glass that lines up with a glass below it. And then we go two, three, twos across the middle there, three on the change, and then twos going down. And on the two after the length of five, this one will have a glass that matches up with the glass below it. And then we're back to twos. There's the first white terracotta. Here's the second one, so we'll change directions. Two, 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 two. And then three once we get around to that curve of three on the end. Again, all of the fences are increasing in height by one.
when you don't have to actually attach them to each other and you can throw them against the side of a full block, it's so much faster. Up another row. All the fences are going to increase by one. And we are going to have an outer layer of iron bars for railings. Nothing special about this, just iron bars along the entire outside. This will not actually be traversable. So if you want it to be, um, you're going to have to change it up. You might need to make this part a little bit thicker or take out some of these corners of iron bars. Like here, this will be something you can't walk through because that gap is too small. So if that bothers you, you can punch out that middle one and just go spikes along the side. Should still look fine, but I never made a way to get up here, so it doesn't really bother me at all <laughs> that you can't walk around because I would never be up here to walk around. Just continuing the iron bars on the outside of this block all the way around. Almost there. Then we're going to increase the fence in height and then do the inner part. All the fence go up. Okay, now we're moving on to that inner ring. So from the middle of three, we are going to get to the first corner here. Go up one, connect it all the way over to that corner on the other side and throw a terracotta on either side of it. Then we're gonna have a row of four in a row of two, a one, a terracotta, and then a zigzag. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven block zigzag. White terracotta, single block, two snow, four snow, one terracotta, one, two, three, four, five, and the terracotta, then four, then two, then one, then terracotta, then the zigzag of seven. Terracotta, single snow, double snow, one, whoa, one, two, three, four. Single terracotta, one, two, three, four, five, snow, terracotta, four snow, two snow, single snow, single terracotta, zigzag of seven, single terracotta, single snow, double snow, four snow, terracotta, line of five, Terracotta, line of four, line of two, line of one, terracotta, zigzag of seven, terracotta, single snow block, double snow, and then a quadruple snow. Boom. And we're going up. Oh, I just gotta stretch for a second. Definitely stretch, go to the bathroom, get some water.
whatever you need to do to make it through the day. One white terracotta back. And then two snow, one glass, two snow, one terracotta. And that's what it looks like from the back of the ship. From here. Moving one diagonally in from the terracotta. We have a line of one, two, three, four, five. Then a line of three. With a little zag into two. One terracotta there. Three single blocks. A double block. Terracotta. Line of three. Line of one, two, three, four, five. Terracotta, line of one, two, three, four, five. Terracotta, line of five. Line of three. Terracotta, line of two. Three singles. Line of two. Terracotta, line of three. Line of five. Terracotta, two, glass, two. Breaking up that length of five white blocks in the middle. Five snow next. Three snow next. Terracotta on the corner. Two snow. Three single snow. Double snow. Terracotta. Three snow. Five snow. One terracotta. Five snow again another terracotta, five snow again, three snow, two snow, one white terracotta, three single blocks, double block, terracotta, triple line, uh, and then a length of five to complete that circle. Moving up again. Terracotta is going back by one. Magical. Um, from the glass, we're making a sea out of snow. Not down there. C shape out of snow. It's one glass in the middle. Coming off of that on the side. One, two, three, four snow. One glass, two snow, one glass, one terracotta, two snow. If I could place these properly, it would be great. Single glass, single snow, single glass, single snow, single glass. So two snow, three glass, two snow, one glass, terracotta, two snow, one glass, one, two, three, four, five snow. White terracotta, air gap, three snow blocks. One white stained glass. One, two, three, four, five snow. White terracotta. White terracotta over there. Um, this is coming back with one glass, two snow, one glass, two snow, one glass, one snow, glass, snow, glass, snow, two snow in a line there with a glass, terracotta, two snow in a line with a glass, one, two, three, four, five snow, terracotta in the middle, three snow, glass in the middle, five glass, or five snow, terracotta in the middle, one glass back, two snow with a terracotta, one glass diagonally back from the terracotta, two snow, line of three single glass next to two single snow, two snow with a glass, terracotta in the middle of that, two snow with a glass, five snow, terracotta in the middle, three snow, glass, one, two, three, four, five snow, white terracotta, in the middle, glass back, Two snow with a terracotta, glass, two snow, line of three glass next to two snow, 
two snow, one glass. Terracotta, two snow, one glass. Snow, 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 snow. Looks something like that. Moving up, I can oh I can I can feel <laughs> can feel the victory coming on. Okay, so terracottas go one back from this glass, one towards the middle, going up one. And then that line is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks long. Coming in off the diagonal. One, two, three, four. Coming in one, two, three. Terracotta. One, two, three, four, five for that zigzag. One, two, three, four, five. Makes a little M. Terracotta. Line of three. Line of one, two, three, four. This one is a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't forget the two terracotta. Um, from this corner back one, there's a snow. Behind that, there's a glass. The snow continues on one, two, three, four in a line. Then a line of three with a terracotta. Then that M shaped zigzag. Then a line of three snow, terracotta, line of, whoops, one, two, three, four snow, diagonal out this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't forget the two terracotta. I feel like I sound monotonous, but I'm hoping, I'm helping. Going back in from the corner, one snow, two, three, four. Coming down one, two, three, terracotta, M shape, one, two, three, four, five, line of three, terracotta, line of four, line of nine, don't forget the two terracotta, line of one, two, three, four, line of three, terracotta, line of one, two, three, four, five, or zigzag of five, sorry. White terracotta there. Line of three, line of four, and that's that layer. So close. Moving up. Oh, this is looking better and better. <laughs> the bottom of the sphere is the most stressful part because you're like, it's gonna be a while. Okay, terracotta moves in on two. Between this, we have a line of one, two, three, four, five. In the middle of that, we have three glass. On the side of the glass, we have four snow. Coming in diagonally backwards, we have one glass. Then a line of three snow, two terracotta. Coming off of that terracotta, there's one snow here with a glass adjacent on each side. This can be the first corner of the little M from before, so a zigzag of five blocks. Another two glass adjacent two terracotta with a line of three snow followed by one glass line of one two three four snow followed by three glass two terracotta off of this in line with the other ones one two three four snow off of this glass one two three four snow two white terracotta diagonally back from that corner white stained glass Three snow blocks in a line. Two terracotta. We have our five block zigzag with white stained glass all on the inside. Another terracotta. Three more snow with a glass on the end. Diagonally back outwards. Line of four snow. Line of three glass. Two terracotta. Line of one, two, three, four, five snow with two terracotta on the end. Then attach the glass, a line of four snow. Diagonally back in, one glass followed by three snow with two terracotta attached. Zigzag of five blocks with glass all on the inside. Two terracotta on the outside. Three snow with one stained glass. Line of 
four snow, followed by three glass. Don't forget the terracotta, move up by two. Between them, a line of five snow, then four snow, diagonally back in, there's a glass. Then three snow, followed by two terracotta. We have our M zigzag of five blocks again, with glass on the inside. Two more terracotta on the outside. Three snow going this way with a glass. One, two, three, four snow to complete the layer. Almost there. Just hold on. It's closing in fast. We can do it. Terracotta moves back by one. Behind that, we have a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven snow with this one on the right side punched out for a glass. Then two in from the back part. We have a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven snow. Crazy. Then from that diagonal corner, move back one, move in one, and this will complete to a line of four. Moving back in, we have a line of three. Moving back in, we have a line of three. Back in, line of three. We'll get this terracotta corner. Here we can complete this line of four here. The next one will be a line going all the way across, stopping too short from the edge. So one, two, uh, actually stopping three short from the edge, sorry. One, two, three. We'll put the terracotta corner on. Don't forget to move these terracotta one back. And behind them, a line of snow connecting all the way across. Then behind this terracotta, back two blocks in this third row, we have a line of four, then a line of three, then a line of three, then a line of three, then a line of two, and then a line of three. Attached to that, we have one white terracotta. We'll go to the other one. Behind that, we can attach a snow block connect the area in between. This one we can pull all the way over till it's three short of this edge here. One, two, three. Fill in the corner of terracotta. <clears throat> then we have a line of four snow, line of three snow, line of three snow, line of three snow, two snow, three snow, and a terracotta. Then we put a terracotta on the other side. One snow block behind it, connect those cross, fill this one same way as before till there's that three block gap, fill in the terracotta, <clears throat> and then coming back directly behind that terracotta, we have a line of four snow, three snow, three snow, that makes three snow, and then we have these two left to do from before. Looking good. Moving up again. This time, the terracotta on the sides is moving back by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Off this cornered terracotta, moving in by two at a diagonal. Three here, three here, two on the diagonal. Three, three, two on the diagonal. Three, three, two on the diagonal. Okay. So coming from this line of three terracotta. We have five snow to connect between them. Go one behind, connect to snow, one to the side, and then we'll create a line all the way till we've done the same thing on the opposite end. One overhang. Going back diagonally again, or adjacent to this terracotta, we'll connect all the way across. Go one out on this side, go all the way across until we connect to that terracotta again. And then we have a line of five snow, a line of four snow, a line of four snow, and then this is gonna be four all the way across. And when we get to this terracotta, we're gonna shift that line of four back one, and we'll have a line of five, 
You'll have a line of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it lines up with this terracotta. And then between these two terracotta, we're going to connect all the way across. Make this next line one shorter, but connect it all the way across. And then connect across between the terracotta. On the last side, we'll connect between these terracotta, move in one at an angle, connect all the way across, move back one, connect between these two diagonal terracotta pieces, there and here. Then we move in one more, connect the line all the way across, and put three blocks on the inner corner. Three blocks on the inner corner. Almost there. Moving up. This is where it starts to get exciting. The, the excitement is actually just, it's palpable. So three terracotta in. Three terracotta in. Two more on the diagonal. Three terracotta in. Why am I changing the direction? Three in, two on the diagonal, three in. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. Okay, we're moving one block in. We have strip jungle wood, spruce fence. Jungle wood and fence. Going around again. Jungle wood, fence, fence, jungle wood. Jungle wood, fence, fence, jungle wood. Jungle wood, fence, fence, jungle wood. And then attached to all of this, we'll just do one layer of blocks zigzagging around the inside. Perfect. Kind of boxy there. Then we'll go up one. So moving in from these white corners here, we have a row of jungle wood. Jungle wood on the diagonal there. Line of five jungle wood again. Single, five jungle wood. Single, five jungle wood. And finally a single. Stairs connecting between them. Stairs connecting between those. Trap doors across the bottom. This is so light goes through the entirety of the middle of the ship. These allow light to pass through into the sphere. The sphere has glass, which allows it to go to the bottom of the little tower. Bottom of the tower has more trap doors, which go to the middle of the boat. The middle of the boat has multiple sections of trap doors. And the bottom of the boat has trap doors, so ultimately this light goes all the way to the ground again. Okay, we'll look from the back of the boat again, just so I don't mess up the orientation. One layer up. Line of spruce fence zigzagging around. Holy crap, you've made it this far. Literally, how have you made it this far? I'm so proud of you. I'm more proud of you than I'm proud of me. I think it was pretty obvious that I gave up <laughs> after a while. OK, moving up again. Moving in one from the corners, we're just going to be skipping one block and throwing another fence on, just to make it a little spiky from a distance. You can always like throw some gates on here so you can walk out and around the balloon. I believe that's it, right? No more? No more! Wow! Holy crap. Well, you did it. I did it in two sittings. I, hopefully you did it in significantly more than that. But that's the airship. Oh, these lights down here again. You can just throw in whatever hanging lights you want. These are just, yeah, walls with chains and lanterns. They don't, the reason I didn't do them before is because they don't necessarily need to be anywhere specific. I literally just made one design here and copy and pasted it around. I'm going to fill this in right now just so you're reminded to go around and do this. 
but it doesn't protect mob spawning on the ship because these lights are too high up. It's just a additional aesthetic. It kind of lights the bottom of this if it bothers you that that part's dark. To be fair, it makes absolutely perfect sense that it's dark. It's blocking a lot of sunlight. So it probably shouldn't be all bright and beautiful. But the most important thing is you just don't cover up any of the glass. Because that would ruin the whole point of all of the glass. <clears throat> but yeah, with this, you're done. Um, holy crap, please let me know how long it took you. Comment. Uh, yeah, just comment whatever you want. Just anything, I don't care. You have a free pass. Say whatever. You made it to the end. There's also probably the chance that some people will just skip to the very end to see it. I don't know why, because there's going to be a time lapse at the beginning. But I mean, I'm the type of person that would look at the beginning, time lapse, then skip to the end and just watch the very end bit. So hello to anyone that has done that. And everybody else, have fun with your uh, with your brand new airship. I hope you like it. It was an incredibly long and arduous journey. And uh, no one but you and I and other people that have done this truly know the pain. I don't even truly know the pain because I still have not done this in survival. And I don't want to. I really, really don't want to. I do have the schematic, so it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but it would take a long time, like a long, long time, which is, I think, one of the most interesting parts for me is that there is now the potential for people to tell me how long that actually takes. The resource gathering, I feel like for this project, isn't that bad, because the snow is going to be like pretty easy to get a hold of. You know, you can make a snow farm that makes a ton of snowballs very easily with just using a snow golem. Since they make snow everywhere they walk, you can just dig out the snow at their feet. The bigger issue is just how long it takes to craft all of it. But yeah, that's it. That's the that's the airship. We're done. This world's free to download if you'd rather play in this amplified world. I haven't done anything in it, so I have no idea where anything is or if it's even even good seed. But this is a cool starting base, I suppose. As you can see, there's still some shadow from the boat, so you might need to light up the ground a little bit, but a lot of it has light passing fully through the ship, which is something to keep in mind. If you want to light it up more, feel free to punch a hole vertically through the entire thing and just cover up the holes with trap doors, leaf blocks, glass, anything transparent. Well, that's all for now. Oh my god, you're one of the few the chosen ones. You have my respect. Um, if you can prove that you did this and you want to be in my Discord, I just let me know and I will give you like a special title role. I'll, I'll have to make one but it'll totally be worth it you'll have earned it that's all for now though have a great day I understand if you don't want to come back in the future <laughs> I'll have more builds though goodbye for now